Just maybe we're live right now with the Stanley Parable. Unofficially, uh, part three. But, you know, we don't put parts on things because it, it makes them less appealing to people that are on their way in or having a glance. You don't want them to feel left out or burnt out. So we're here. Welcome. Happy Thursday, everybody. It's time for the joy known as Stanley Parab. It's going to be the bucket day. It's going to be the day we don't kick it. It's going to be... It's, it's fine. You know, it's good. It's. Uh, I'm not going to get mad that I ended up stalling too long on the whole and not seeing half of the assets that would have been there. Nah. Nah, I'd never be mad or upset about that. But doesn't matter. It's fine. It is what it is. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the stream. I see you coming in. I'd very much appreciate you if you could hit the stupid button that looks like that. Oh, I hate... I, I hate begging. I hate it. How are the alleged is going? Any progress I made was pointless. I've got to redo stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, that's about how that's going. And again, uh, every time I ask you, like, the likes double or triple, so it's just... If you don't like me asking, how about you do it without me ever having to in the first place, huh? You... <laughs> oh, that'd be funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> it doesn't matter. You take your time. You do whatever you need. It's fine. But welcome. I, uh, I can't believe that uh, I'm going to actually say this, but Stanley Parable is a hell of a stress relief game for me. You'd expect that to be more of a, uh, you know, a Call of Duty, pick up a gun and shoot, or a VR, very expensive stress relief. Uh, blade and Sorcery, swinging at people's heads and sending them across the room in slow-mo and super speed, and then electrifying them like your, like your Palpatine. But, you know, actually, in fact, Stanley Parable ends up being stress relief for me. I was listening to a man, I shouted him, Tell him it's stupid, I experience things I've never experienced before, I laugh, I smile, I cry a bit, it's all good. Oh, the parable's gonna be fun. It is. It really is. Also, I have just realised something tremendous. The bloody chat's on top chat, not live chat again. i lose my mind. Oh, so appreciate you. All of you. Thank you for being here. I'm grateful as all hell. I might start a little sooner rather than later, so in the nicest way I can maybe beat this damn thing? I'm only 50% of the way through? How's that a thing? How am I only 50% of the way through? I've spent six hours... Five. Five to six hours on this. What's a boy to do? Oh, by the way, I'm thinking of making uh, Isaacs two days a week, maybe? I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I am actually missing that game. Believe it or not. So you may get that. You may get that to bookend of the weeks. You may get it Mondays and Fridays. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. But either way, it's going gonna, it's gonna to uh, be more of it at the very least. I just want to. Am I missing Isaac or Fiend Folio? I mean, you know, Fiend Folio is of that quality. It feels kind of like both. You know, like, they're one in the same. Oh, man, that's, di that's dirty. What the f- Oh, there it is. Let's see if the alerts ever pop up today, shall we? I'm not sure they will. I'm not sure. I'm not sure they ever will. It's been so long right now. It might just be one of those days on the old you- Never mind. Never mind. Hello? Hello? Hey Tia, have some more money from me to you. Hope you enjoy the game. Also probably might give you more money, so get ready for that. Thank you, Harbinger Venom, for the silent support of the five there. And the gaming fish NJ, am I saying that right? Yes, I am. Save your, I mean, save your money as well, Harbinger, but you, you're making threats of spending more. Stop that. Put it in a savings account. Spend it on a fancy meal with people you love. Put it in a shoebox. Put it underneath your bed. Don't spend it here. Look after you, please. Sorry the alerts take absolutely forever to go through. Like me cleaning my damn glasses because apparently they were just laden with filth. Oh my hell, they're smeared like you wouldn't believe it. Oh man, that's not good. How are cats? Eh, they're good. They're good. They're good. And I, I've, I'm already enjoying the game. 
Uh, already enjoying it. It's, I've got it open right now. I'm just staring at the clock. There it is. Give me... For the love of the Lord! Stop it! Did someone say more money? No. 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 Hello. Finally made it to one of your streams and I always enjoyed watching your VODs on YouTube. Wait, how the fuck are you in here? Hector! Heck, for any reason, there's a hundred dollars right there on the direct dono feed. YouTube doesn't even take 30% of that. You just came right in and you did it. Oh, man. What? I'm just turning the, I'm just turning the music back on. That's it. I'm just turning the music back on. That's it. Thank you so much. Very much, Hector. Thank you, Hector. Good grief. I can spend that immediately to try and figure out how the cat got in. Holy hell. Thank you, Austin Mulvina, for the 10 again, by the by. Stop it, goose. Night to hall with the air with the $10. Screw it. Hello there. Let's start the chaos, shall we? No, no, no. no, 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 no gaming. No, no, no. Do what I want. Gonna play Fire Emblem now. Have fun, gaming fish. Tax. It's already gone. It's already. Why is it doing that over and over again? That's not the. sends his regards. Does he? I don't know how. Doesn't look like I'm making a new game or DLC for that bloody world for a few years now. Stop it. Thank you, Harbinger Venom. Thank you, Mad King. Thank you, Salty Pepper. Thank you, everybody. Thank you all. For the love of the Lord, please stop. If you missed the cat, you can just use the timeline to go back. Welcome to YouTube. Welcome to YouTube. You can just do that. Doesn't matter if you missed it. You didn't actually miss it when you're on here. I am going to lose my mind. Austin Mulvina, thank you. What was that about starting the game early? <laughs> yeah, well, I intended to. <laughs> well, that's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. I can't believe, right, that Skit walked up to me as Hector came in with the big bloody money made bomb. Like, ah, oh, what the... The timing of that is impeccable. Never mind how the hell the little shit got in. But I'm my French. I don't even know what to say. Please save your damn money. This is free content. All right? There's already 534 bloody members. That's 534 more than there needs to bloody be. I'm grateful for all you're doing. You don't need to do anything. The quality. I can't speak. The quality of your mic is astounding. You actually sound that crisp. I thought it was some sort of editing magic. Well, there's a little bit of difference between what I usually do with uh, edited videos. A little bit. I'm glad you like it the way it is, though. Thank you very much. That makes me feel. That makes me feel accomplished. Oh, cheers. <laughs> like actually, glad to know I got the settings somewhat good. Oh, night to whore again with ten dollars. Dos goes. Brrr. I'm gonna f motorboat you. Toes in a minute. I just don't know what I was going to say. Teeth is what I was going to say. I haven't got a damn clue why I would have said teeth, but I nearly said teeth. Cheers! All right, stop! 
I haven't even done what the bloody game's called yet. I haven't even had a rant about the Prime Minister that couldn't even outlive a lettuce, career-wise. I haven't even done that yet. I haven't even... Well, actually, I did briefly touch on the whole stress relief ha-ha for Stanley Parable and that being somehow more... more stress relief than Blade and Sorcery, which is... Oh, um, amazing. I was going to say it was amazing. E. E? Why does it keep doing that noise? First time donating, got nothing else to say, just enjoy the money. E. Shit. E. Cheers, poor of the latex queen. Cheers very much for the support. Poor neighbors, they're that old, they're too deaf to hear it, and two, very good soundproofing on this room. That's why I'm in here. Have you seen back there? That isn't painted black, that's all foam padded. <laughs> Holy hell, if I was smart, I'd have solar panels on the other side of the bastard in ceiling as well. That way I'd actually not have a bloody electric bill that's like 500 pounds a fucking month. Oh, like England's great. The, the electricity bill has quadrupled or more. Or the, the, the fucking mortgage has gone up like 20 to 30 to 40% depending where you are. And it still stands to rise more. I ah, just... What a great country. Guys, if it's bad enough that you're a pebble in the middle of the fucking poo-flavored ocean. Oh, it's mental. And poor bloody Flick going to the vets. Crikey, that was something. I didn't expect that. I really didn't. He's all right, though, so it's, you know, it's worth it. Although, for that price, I was expecting to bring my cat back from the fucking dead. I'm glad he wasn't. Glad he isn't. Glad he's fine. He's very sprightly and lively and running around the bloody bedroom. And as soon as he realized where he was and he was home, he hid. He hid under the bed. Not because he was scared, because he just couldn't be asked. The little bitch. I haven't, I haven't spoken after this, but thank you again, Silas, for the 20. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody, so far. Oh, thank you, Core of the Ilex, so I can go to where the... Wait, what? I can go to where there's a cat and give money. I don't know what that. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Yeah, it's. I, I'm. Yeah, the son of a gun with the five dollars pack back pay for all your great content. Frankly, this ain't nearly enough. It's more than enough. If you've watched these days in the last few years, watch time is more valuable than I don't even know what. Don't worry about it. Chill, relax. Save your money. Don't spend it or spend it on you. Either of those, just don't waste it on me. The gaming first, for the last one, promise. Better be! Anyways, I'll be watching. Cheers. All right? You're going you're gonna to have a vet bill at some point. If you're in the UK, all the things I said are affecting you. Save your money for that. And if you're not in the UK, very soon it could affect you as well in a different way or just... Money is finite. When you find it, keep it. Please. All right? Really appreciate you. It's been 15 minutes nearly. Oh, the streams from this channel not vodded. They are vodded. A tier of disgrace. Uh, once it's all cut up, it'll be the day after the fact that it's been streamed. As of right now, I believe... In two minutes, one of them's going live. And I, I don't know which it is. I'm lost. Genuinely, I'm, I'm not taking the piss. But by this week, by, by next week, it'll all be caught up. And uh, when I stream on Monday, that'll be uploaded Tuesday and so forth. Oh, Starkiller, thank you. Uh, I'm spending it on me by giving it to you. Thanks! That's not how that works. That's not how that works. Ah! You think it's bad in Britain, but we're hitting 18% inflation here in Poland, and by 2023 it stands to rise up to 20 plus percent. And we haven't even been Brexited. <laughs> Just shit government and the gas issue. Oh, I love how Brexit has become a verb. All right, at least I think that's what the fucking word is. I don't have a damn clue. Ad adjectives, descriptive, noun is name. I think verbs do. Weeb! Weeb! What the fuck? Sweep! <laughs> Thank you so much. It's almost like the, the message you sent in that, with the money, should be a message to you about not wasting that money. But you've done it already, haven't you? <laughs> Lose my mind. You know what? I just want to press this just to really, just to... Especially now. 
Because that noise is just how I feel. That noise is just how I feel, all right? <laughs> Those are usually the gift sub bloody alerts, but just every now and then I feel like there isn't a scream that I can summon that could do justice as much as that could, and that one doesn't hurt my throat. <laughs> Thank you, Ruib, again for the 25 now. <gasps> Thank you again, Hector. You've absolutely blown my ass off. This alert is made fucking perfectly, isn't it? The gaming Saurus. Saurus with the five. Here's a little tuppence from it. Tuppence? It's a few more than that. Follow Bruce fan. Love your videos. Keep doing what you're doing. I mean, hopefully at some point I'll be able to actually make the allegedly video that I wanted to do for this week. But then during this week, every story developed considerably. So I don't know. Uh, there'll be. There's no possible way it can be done. I might just edit Super Liminal tomorrow. Maybe that can be done, and then that can actually go out, and you can finally see what I'm trying to do with the content that I'm streaming live that could be then made into the videos, you know? Lord above. Dickhead below. Sort me out. I'm a, I'm an absolute massive nerd, because this is a Destiny shirt. This is one of those that I had to play the game to unlock and then spend money to get. That's the state that I'm at. I'm wearing this, unironically. Yeah, I'm trying with the most recent, allegedly, but, like, I did three to four things for it, like, properly. I mentioned one. Doesn't really count. I mentioned two, actually, now I think about it. Um, but just lit everything. The Bayonetta thing ended up being, oh, there's another side of that story, and that's hard to tell, but then there's also the backstory of, of the Platinum, like, not always being that truthful either, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're not being, so it's like, oh, I've got to do all that. <laughs> then Rooster Teeth. That went from a bag of dog shit on fire in front of the door to that now catching fire to the house, and that's burning down. So, yeah. Oh, you're here now. Oh, you can't escape me, Tia. <laughs> promise I didn't read that in advance. <laughs> I, I genuinely promise I didn't. Oh, that went well, didn't it? Cheers, Epics. How much is that you spent today now? Crossbow streams. Because for those that don't know, we do have a group stream, Terrible TV, that we do daily, or weekdays, that is. We recently had fallen in love with No Man's Sky, and it's, you know, realistically probably one of the most dull games you could probably stream, but I fucking love it! You? Spending money? That won't do. Take mine. Nope. Thank you, again, Austin Mulvina. Austin Mulvina and Epics, just... Two names that have become increasingly common now that we're over here on YouTube. Oh, speaking the fuck of which, you could have put that in chat for free instead of spending five to add more to the total. $75 now, 80. I'm gonna scream. Ah! Right. I just nearly vomited. I had an absolute panic attack. Turn it off. I've been drinking this. I thought I'd put it over here. But over here is this. And this is from yesterday. And I was convinced that because I'd left it, it would be unwell, unwise to drink. So I just nearly cried from fear. I heard you like money. Everyone needs it, including you. So why don't you... Keep it! Was going to do $200, but I'm hungry. Well, it sounds like you're going to be eating very well, then. I'm happy to hear it. <laughs> I'll hear nothing but these alerts for the rest of my life. No. No more Wii Shop. You've ruined it. You don't get Wii Shop anymore. But yeah, basically, I thought that was going to be the equivalent of curdled milk, and instinctively tried to throw up, apparently. Thankfully, the drink was fine. Uh, I didn't vomit on stream live. <clears throat> Thank you! The cost controller with the bloody six dollars damn near. Oh, there's a message. <gasps> Generous donation for all your hard work. Love all your videos, Brent. Thank you very much. Cease! Don't make me hit the train. Don't. Thank you, Epics. Again. Total today, 85 overall. Ah, total 30 to you, 470 to terrible TV. I'm gonna puke. It was a hell of a weekend, wasn't it? Just fucking hell one thing after another. Anyway, I missed last night's stream cause I was visiting family which was good up until a politic talk started at which point I decided it time to GTFO. I can understand. Oh for fuck! Silas with ten dollars more, guess we're keeping the No 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 no
Nope. Going to throw up, all right? And not because of what I thought was moldy protein. Mm, total 507 US dollars. Can I have the can-can? You bitch. You know it's over here. And I need to put more... Oh, my actual lord! Did someone say train? Hey! Thank you, Epics. Thank you, Star Killer. No one said train. Silas Ten, Mad King, with that. Can I feel you on the politic thing? I'm thankful to not have family nearby to have that happen regularly. Detective Sweetie, please do save your money. Thank you, just a guy on the in internet. Thank you, Deadman99 UK with the two. I broke as hell, but I to fucking. Cut that out. Please. Vexton, brand new membership, even though it says renewed, so I don't actually know how that works. Maybe you've been a member before because it says renew. Either way, cheers for supporting. Thank you, Epic Star Killer, everyone. Stop it! I will say again, this is free content, of which, for this stream, it hasn't even started yet. It hasn't! So stop! I'm never clapping again. Choo choo. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, for. F Thank you, Ghost Soldier. For the five. I've been watching you ever since Bone of Isaac. I've always loved your content. And well, you've pulled me out of the sticky points of my life. Happy to be able to do so. You guys watching my shit has done the same for me in all of mine. <laughs> There's been many. If you've been here throughout the years with my disappearances, every single one of those was one of them. So cheers. <laughs> Epic's mother friend says, hi, by the way, I'm doing this on my own stream. You're a... F I'm... I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna come. <sighs> like, thank you. For real. Gonna come. Ah yes, higher picture quality, 114p. <laughs> Definitely higher picture quality with you looking like Minecraft. If mobile is ever used, it defaults to 1440p for the first minute and a half in my experience. No idea why! <laughs> but it does! Mmm. Mmm. Okay, this is from Vexton. Fun fact! When someone makes a super chat, the support button flashes to entice people into doing the same, which is a part of how super chat chains like this end up happening. You know what? I know how to stop this. Beth, that you became a, a member. Thank you. Thank you! Ah. 6.23. Your favourite... No, it's not my favourite time of the day! Unless, you know, I'm living in the moment, in which case it is currently that time, making it my favourite because I live in that moment. Or could you simply not resist giving me the... Yeah, I'm... You've rumbled me. After all, I know how much you enjoy setting the time... Co you don't know me! I'm now curious how accurate it is. Let's use another slider to... Well, it's a little, it's, it's a little less accurate, because a minute is now past. Can I just say, regardless of the actually the clock, I'm having a... I am in hell before I've even entered the gates. I feel like I'm learning more about you and how you like things to be said. It's good to collect date. Oh, sorry, Google. Wish we had more sliders. No, same. Perhaps I can invent some new slide- Are you taking the piss? Shouldn't be too hard. Let me whip a- No way. Should be ready the next time you- <sighs> Alright, I'm honest. I've, I've never lied to you. I'm, uh... 
I'm pretty invested in the sliders, so, uh... I'm gonna need a... <clears throat> I'm gonna need to launch the game again now. Just gonna... Thank you, crows, crows, and more crows. Oh, thank you so much, Davey. Eat shit, Davey. Please adjust the slider until the computer is barely... There you go. Please... Ad until the dog and the cat are... Proximity does not indicate a relationship. Well, I mean... I mean, it is... It, 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 Surely, that's more than friends. If anything, that would be friends. Please adjust the... I, what? I, what the flying? Okay, so in a uh, slider about getting a number five to nine, there is a smiley face. A document. I've lost the game. A flag. I fucking surrender! Oh, there's nine, but is that the number nine? Oh, filing cabinets. Uh, a Nordic tattoo? Or a bunch of nines. Plane mode! Just playing around! <laughs> Monitoring. Monitoring me. Bell. Ring it. Hit subscribe. Ring that bell. Oh, nine! And then there's a the telephone. There's B. As, uh, oh, B9, how I like my tumors. Bikes! Ambulance for my fucking mental state. Nine! Uh, a magnifying glass to search for the fucking reason for any of this. Uh, the achievement that I still haven't found. And paperclips. Oh, and then home. It's, uh, th there's the number nine, guys. They're, they're done it. Please, it until you... I think I'm done. Wait, maybe it does something. Alright. I've been played. Which of the two made-up words below is the most appealing to you? Occiboinkle or scrumtush? We see this one sounds like shagging in a toilet and that one sounds like a nice ass. Please don't adjust the slider. Ah, now I know it's Kevin doing this. Fuck you. Do you... Of course I know what the time is. Don't you dare ask me to put it in again. But I do. Is... Is the time that is right now the correct... Time? Yeah! What is time any- This isn't a yes or no answer, sir. Is there anything about yourself that you haven't- Yes! Yes, most things! Help. Is that for me or is that for you? Because if it's for me, yes. If it's for you, no. This is really up for interpretation, dude. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna be the good guy here. Will you come back to visit... Is, are you telling me to close the game and come back again? Because I'll do it if you're not Kevin. Uh... He asked if I'd come back. She. They. They asked. I... I'll be back. Crows, crows, crows. Davy reading. Oh, yeah. What time is sh this shit again? I. What do you mean? I it's, it's about half past six! Does any. Yes, that's why we made clocks! Of course they don't. Nobody knows any. My dude. 
I know for a damn fact you're starting to get on my nerves. You and I don't even know each other. We're like straight. So you're not Kevin, is what you're telling me. You, you've, you've played me for a rube. I've adjusted all the game settings to your exact, but who? Uh, many people haven't. Probably all but one. It's just what I do. Like a di You are text on a screen, sir. And now the job is over. I, I mean, you could just make more sliders. There's no more information for me to gather. I've collected all the data on you that... Again, hey Google. I still don't really know you. That's because you've asked me what the time is, and if I know what time is. Two different questions, somehow. That's... That's kind of on you! No, I really don't know you. I don't know if you're Kevin, if you're Davey, or if you're the female narrator that popped in at a certain point when I took a tour of the endings I hadn't seen yet, you fuck. And neither of us know what... I know exactly. it is 31 minutes past 6 p.m., all right, on the 20th of October, 2022. Guess some settings are just unsettable. Yeah, like you being peaceful. If I'm being totally honest, the clock doesn't do anything in the... You bitch. You won't have me here when the game starts next time, but that's okay. I'm beginning to con- I'm, I'm starting to agree. I thought that we'd come to an understanding and I was gonna miss you. Now, I'm beginning to long for the days where you are long gone. Video games were meant to be pla- You heard of a Call of Duty? You like being a lo- That's pretty presumptuous. Are you projecting? Is it because you are and you're trying to cope? That's maybe the only information I really learned about. I don't think that- I don't think, I don't think that's accurate. Uh, you don't know me. You don't know me! It's time for me to leave. Okay. Please. Hurry up with that. Oh. There's still one more setting that we need to adjust. May take a little time before I'm ready for... How many times have I got to open and close this motherfucking game before you your, your quest completes? It's not really in my job description, but that's okay. Okay. All right. I understand. P perhaps. If I could find you... You're going to be on the second screen, aren't you? I don't think we will. I'll be reading. He's not there. He's not there. He's not in the drawer. He's not in the file. He's not in the painting. Is it parable? Is he in the colon? Oh, crikey. That is a loaded question. Well, I... Uh, fair enough. Got you. All right. Before I start this, then, I'm going to uh, just come back for a second, read the things that came through. Thank you, uh, Sam Arine. I hope I said that right. With the five doors, my general tradition started yesterday, um, and I wanted to share the love. Thank you, for you. <laughs> Thank you, you bald, beautiful bastard. Thank you very much for the support. Good fucking luck on everything. Thank you so much for the support. I should be the one supporting you. Cheers. Stop spending your money. Look after you. And seriously, good luck. Uh, and he has Matt Slayer with the $20. This goose says hi. Yeah. This goose says, oh! All right, whatever the hell that was, I'm gonna go back into hell now. Now, am I going to be... Shut up. Back where it... I... I'm supposed to be inside the Yeti in League of Legends, not at my desk! All of his co-workers were gone. Mm. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yeah. You keep telling yourself that one, freak. Oh, good. You noticed my side. I already noticed it! I have something very exciting to show you. I bloody well know I've seen it, you dick. I went down a hole. No, it took too long and you took me out of the hole. There were puppies, apparently. I missed them. You're bothering me. Already, Kevin. Oh, what does that say? It says 195. 1951. 1951. 
You see, Stanley, oh. I've been reflecting on the Stanley parable. Not again. About how roundly disappointing Kevin, I know. The deluxe version has turned out to Kevin, be. I've heard. The original Stanley parable was a landmark. All right. Any new content for it should live up to that legacy. Bit of an ego. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. Already have. I say we take oh. it one step. I was scared further, by that last time. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever. Yeah. The Stanley I know. Parable I've been here, you fucking punk! Alright, I'm going to the damn investor thing. I'm going as quick as I damn well can. Yes, Get me to the lobby with the with, with the tour and the previews. I want to go see the bucket. I want to go see Mrs. Bouquet. I'll be keeping up your appearances at this rate, you invisible fuck. Built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities? It could go in so many different directions. It'll only go in one, and that's forward. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be. I'm but well aware. All you've got is an entire row of numerical before. displays. I figure that if I can loosely organize Damn a it. handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of ah, back. spring up around them. Oh, yeah, you've, yeah. you've imprisoned on, me. Try out some of the new features. I did the name already, sir. It's time for the... What the hell is this? Your... your puzzlement is making me puzzle it. What is it? Wait, what the hell? Oh, 3.40... Is it late? Okay, oh. I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided on this one. Oh. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration. Oh. Like balloons. Hello? But I'm undecided on Get Well Someday and Happy Twelfth Birthday. But the game's six years old. But who's unwell? And whose fucking birthday? That's not... That isn't... Stepneys? Who? I... What the... What are you... What the... Well, I mean, this seems more thematic. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Happy 12th birthday, step niece it is. Kevin, they're clipping through each other, Kevin. Kevin, how does this make the office better? It's just a bunch of balloons that vaguely resemble Britain's Got Talent logos. I... I didn't... Why did you ask me? That was the whole room? Maybe I should have gone with... No. No, I've made my decision. We're moving on. Oh, are we? I get the feel... Now, now. You already made your choice. No, you did. It's true that you chose badly. No, I didn't. But we all have to move on from our mistakes. So why are you here? Well, I, 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 you're the mistake. Why am I here? Excuse me. Uh, I, what if I... I want to pop the balloons. Give me a gun, Stanley. Can I just pick you up, rip you into pieces, make the end sharpened, and use you as pair per airplane piercing devices? Kevin, I'm waiting. I'll find a way to kill myself, Kevin. Oh, I guess we're done. Oh, he's going to sass me like a piece of shit. Oh, it's the hole this way. I don't know if the hole's back. Kevin, did you reset the hole? You reset all of me. Let's take all. Oh, everybody, the hole is back. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. Yes. It's never been done before in a video game. Nope, this no, we've is done in that. Fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You mm. can fall until the I end will. of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. I mean, it's it's, it's got to be better. Than whatever the hell Bloober team's gonna do with Silent Hill 2, don't you think, Kevin? Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, See, I'm in it! You can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. No. I've already- I've- I- Kevin, your short-term memory loss is getting so bad. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. No. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. No, thank you. I'm fine where I am. Okay.
Okay, Stanley. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully. Don't you be mean. Well, that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. Because you're a bitch. Is it a very, very deep hole? Not that very. Be certain it is. Not in the end, at least. It's an extremely deep hole. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Stop it! That's is rude. It infinite. Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. Infinity From is endless. And the this is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a ends. Okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. Yep. You found me out, Stanley. I'm a liar and a cheat, and you're so clever. Nope. Look, I think the issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. I hate you. What normal person actually wants to fall infinite? I loathe you. I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. That's you. All right. Just let me back up to the top so I can jump down and it gets smaller from shrinkage. With age. Things we didn't mean. Why don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the whole mostly infinite? Mostly infinite? Is mostly infinite just about a minute long? Mostly infinite? Your sex life is in shambles if that's the time. Yep. Great. Now, I'm very Shut the fuck up, Kevin. You see? I was right. The problem is you. If you keep the saying that to everybody you meet, have you ever considered that maybe you're the one with the problem? Not normal. A normal person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes nope. on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, I actually oh, proof-checked it. Sort of... Bitch. Oh. Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? Yes. I couldn't help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. Only a little. Admittedly. I didn't make an infinite hole. No. I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, mm -hmm. you can hit the teleport button I and hit come it. join me up above. By the time you told me to hit it, I pressed it and it didn't work. You're a whore and a liar. Had enough? I'm positive. Not one great. bit! Gosh, how could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. If this starts to become a thing where Yep. Wow. Okay. Yes. I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. Oh, I Kevin! Starting to hit Did you go to big no fancy lab school? Did you use your eyes and have them open and look at the obvious evidence for that? What an astute learning boy you are! Stanley, I have Idiot. no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Yeah, let's try something. Okay. Let's pop back up to the top and we'll see if it gets any shorter. It's just about to go inside itself, Kevin. Well, there it is. The shame of my life. How is this still appealing to you? I know you're obsessed with holes, but at this depth, you uh, just can't see this uh, scratching the itch. Uh, oh, uh, uh, who am I to judge? Uh, uh, you just uh, do whatever uh, it is you're here uh, to do and hit the uh, teleport button uh, when you're ready to move on. Uh, 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 it just looks like a face. I'm... I don't need a doctor, I'm fine. <sighs> Obsessed with holes, by the way. Is this really the place for it? Anyway. Any moment now, uh... Kevin will be sick of this. He will leave. And I will be given the gift that I came here for. More infinite hole. No. Ah! 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 Ah. <clears throat> Do I need to press this? Have I missed a step in the sequence in which to make the man mad? Do I need to press this? Am I holding myself hostage? Not him. This is about as infinite as Halo Infinite. Uh... Ah! <laughs> oh. Hmm. Is the, um, teleport button not working? No. You sure? Well, I mean, I really don't have an explanation. It was working just a moment ago. Everything Something breaks else. that you make. Nothing works. Still nothing. Your fucking That's features better. are on the unemployment Still line, I Kevin! I'm out. Oh. Goodbye, Stanley. You couldn't bear to be away from the hole, and now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. Good. It's a win for everyone. I must everyone. have had Chipotle you recently. You get to be with the hole, I get to do literally anything else. 
Take care, Stanley. Go away. I hope you and the whole have a wonderful rest of eternity. If eternity is about as long as infinite is for you, I I'll see you in about three minutes. I don't know why I assume you're going that way. This is my front. Felt like you... Now we're in the good stuff. Now you hurry the hell up now. Go. I want to see what I can really do in this hole. Any fucking moment now! Come on! Thank you. Tried to clap on. Oh, you don't need to go to a brothel for it. Ah! It was happy that it, its eyes were being eaten. Just wanted to fill you in on the narrative there. I want you to miss out. Holy shit, my ears! I don't remember going blind and deaf right about now. Cool, blimey! Alright. It's fine! Any moment! Starting- Ah, now! <laughs> this is what I needed. This! This is what I needed, Stanley. You, me, and a cameraman. And the world's most excitable band begging to go through every single genre of music you could ask for. What is this? The sound of rapid, slight anal penetration? The fuck? Shut up! Oh. Space of mind? Oh, I don't like it! I'm not sure that's any better. If we actually show off the location of these fossil fuels, the entire known world will be fighting over it. We're gonna need to leave. Why is this an MP4 of dogs eating? Fuck off! Oh, they're still there. Help me! Oh, yeah. Oh, legs. I'm like that scene from Stitches. This is not doing me any favors. Is Kevin coming back? Is Kevin, I'm in the infinite void. What the fuck is going on? I don't like the color blue. Don't like that. Why am I green? It's the smoke. Static beach, but moving dogs. Mm, no, no, no! What? Stanley. Oh, good, you're awake. It seems you had sort of dozed off there. What was drifting away into dreamland? But we can't have that, Stan. What was that? Because this hole is just so darn fascinating what was... that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. What was... You don't want to miss a single moment. But so, how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up? To but keep you really, truly focused on the hole. Stop saying hole. From the looks of things, you and I will have many, many years here in this hole. Marriage. And I'm looking forward to all of them. I... Stay alert, Stanley. Yeah. I'll be back. Dude. I... I think I turned into a beanie baby down there. Don't... Don't send me back. <sighs> well, it's nice to know I've got freedom on the mind. I'll never experience it again. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. What about merch? Can I... Can I get the merch? I'd really like something to remember this by that isn't just the infinite sense of dread that will never leave me after going in the hole. Oh, I'm just flat out of luck, aren't I? Maybe one day I'll get the merch stand. Until then... Reassurance bucket. I'm gonna need re reassuring. I really a common complaint of the Stanley Parable really was am. that it was confusing and paradoxical. Uh -huh. That it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Uh -huh. Well, 
I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It... It's the Stanley oh. Parable Reassurance There it comes bucket. right now. You see, Stanley, anytime you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. Oh. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. But and to be honest, I it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Lazy. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes, the bucket is the perfect solution. Oh. Come on, oh. give it a try. Oh, I can. <laughs> what the fuck? I was laughing. Can you feel it? It's metal. The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. Oh. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? Why? I think that just holding it... It laughed vaguely like Bender from Futurama. The benefits the, of the bucket... The Jean DiMaggio one, one, not the whatever guy they got after. This and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. What do I do with the bucket, Kevin? I, the the bucket's just, I just, I just have a, I just have the bucket now, don't I? I'm never going to be able to put this down, am I, Kevin? Okay, well I've, we're going to think maybe I should have uh, taken this in the hole. You know, you have a hole yourself. Mary Poppins that made you, you're also infinite. You'd be very well versed in... Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? No. That really should be an award if it isn't already. It's not. It's never going to be. That's fucking stupid. Anyway. I'm just gonna take the bucket in here and see if the balloons are still... No, that's still about the niece that nobody knows whose it is. Which is just tremendous when you think about it. I assume... I assume the hole... Is, uh... <laughs> firmly closed. Yep. Yep, that's cat's constipation. Now that, that, that hole ain't opening. Darling Magic, five dollars if you scan the QR code on the merch area. No, I haven't. But seeing as I can't actually physically show it off, if I did, I still won't. <laughs> Thank you, though. Thank you for so much. Thank you, Brendan Hatter, for the three dollars, too. Sorry I missed that. Kevin, I need to, uh... Probably do the collectibles again, don't I? Why do you remember I've been here already? But the hole didn't, hmm? Son of a bitch. Alright. Alright. I think I did the achievement. And that didn't work. <gasps> oh, the- Oh. You know what? Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Parable 2 as well. Oh. It's oh, wait. You already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. Yes, you were there for that. Hmm. Oh, well. Oh, well? I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece, then. What do you mean? What? Did... What do you mean, decorative piece? What? You control this! Family man! What are you... I mean, the bucket doesn't even have anything to defend this with. Not even a chortle! What is the- <sighs> Fine. Fine. No, I guess I won't be jumping for joy. I'm... Jumping off of rooftops. Well, I've done the button. Unless you want me to do the button again. Can have a nice long conversation about Jim. The door is open, so... I'm assuming you want me to, you stupid slut. For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is... Kevin, I'm pressing the gym button. Individually recognized. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. Loudly. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Mm. Here, let's have you roll... Oh, don't to really start. The full We're not doing UK Just office to US I office where I make the same okay, fucking joke but with a different accent. A I already made the Jim Halpert thing. My camera isn't even frozen anymore. It's not even anywhere near as funny as it'd be the first time. You are defining the problem with a sequel right now, Kevin. 
I'm not Jim. This doesn't say Jim. It says name. I'd have fewer problems with it if it fucking said name. Are you really, truly Jim right now? No. If so, then please step forward and press the button. Jim. <laughs> yes, you see? What a thrill, what a rush. I hate that was you. you. The button described you. Do it again, do it again. <sighs> yes, Daddy. Jim. Ooh, it hits even harder the second time. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. Let's take a break from the gym button. No. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal valid. Gym. Oh, there, cowboy. Gym. Sometimes a person gym. can be gym. too much gym. 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 You are gym. going gym. to regret gym. not coding gym. another gym. bloody gym. name gym. into the name button! Gym. Kevin, it clipped through the carpet and ground. Kevin, you didn't even try. And my bucket. My bucket didn't even say anything! It didn't reassure me at all! It didn't say, yeah, sure, you're Jim. No! It just sat in my fucking hand! Still! I mean, I ah, Too big, too small, doesn't matter, one size fits all, Ramstein! I, ah! Why do you make doors that can't be opened? And why am I speaking to the bloody billboard? San Irene. Four dollars, sending you more money because it pisses you off. <laughs> why? <sighs> Thank you. Every single door is a lie. If you were to open a bakery, the cakery wouldn't be as much of a lie as this. What's it? Maybe if I have a name card that says Jim, these fucking doors will open. Hmm. I guess that'll never. I suppose I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable too. That would actually save me the work of finishing this feature. Hmm. I'm going to. Epilogue? An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yes, it would go at the end of the, um, uh, well, we'll figure that out later. I want to figure it out now! I just, yeah, I'm, I'm like one of those freaks that buys a book and reads the last page first. And yet I went there. If you do that, you're weird. If you bought it, if you're in the bookstore and you haven't bought it yet, I get it. Settings, world chap. My menu guy? Menu guy? Hey! Is it, is it you? I... <sighs> Whatever that distant thud was, I hope it was someone you loved dying. <sighs> well, all right. That's just another door that I can't use. Exit! All right. that That's the end. That is all. That is it. I'm leaving. There is... It's blocked off, isn't it? It's fucking barred. There's no exit. Uh, this, how... How do I... Where do I... Jump circle. Exit that way. Calling it Excuse the Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? No. Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the... All right. Have you seen no. everything you wanted to? Yes. Ready to move on now? Mm-hmm. What the hell is this? Oh, not mine. So... What the bloody hell is going on? Why is there a giant Stanley face? Why is the... Oh, that's artsy. I get it now. Clever! There's a mug. It's a new mug. Couldn't possibly be an old mug. Left here. And I'd missed where it went. With Byro to write on it. What if I do, though? What if I hit print screen? Fuck you. So, Stanley, <laughs> what do you think? 
Do you like all of the new features? No. Nope. Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. Oh, yeah? It's going to work. I don't believe There's you. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. Okay. I'll arrange oh. these new features together, and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Sure. Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Oh! Oh. Um. Um. Well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of... Okay, never mind. I... Hold on. Let me do a different arrangement. No, I don't. Okay, yes. Yes, this is much better. I feel good about this. I don't here think... Version 2. No, I don't think... Rip. <sighs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. Oh, and I yeah. do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. No. Uh, it's not I the arrangement, sir. I wanted to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. Maybe we should have done some writing, then. The structure in the gameplay of the original. Wait. Maybe that's it. Oh, no. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Oh, no. Easily, of course. No. With respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original. Don't send me game. back. Would it possibly work? Mm, I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title Don't screen. Don't just be the number a two. title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Huh? Let me see if I can whip something up. It's just <laughs> going to say exactly what you oh, said, isn't it? Perfect. Go ahead. There's going to be no nuance. Take a look. Oh! I... I mean... Oh. I mean, I... I mean, yeah, that's, uh... That's, that's number two, all right. It's a lot more, uh... Pretentious than the last one. I'm just gonna go to the settings and uh, bring that up and bring that up and just do that and yeah, do all this and just get the feeling that uh, if I were to do all this, maybe the settings world champion door would have been this is fucking open. Hello? This is the story of a man named Stanley. Shut up. Oh, I got a good feeling about this. Yeah? Good feeling. Anyway, I'm just gonna begin the game now, Kevin. If you're still here. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Yes. Stanley worked for balloons a now. I like the touch. It really, it really hides the fact it's the same bloody intro, Kevin. He sat at his desk in room four two seven. And he pushed buttons on the keyboard. With a bucket. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk. There's no bucket yet. I'm really looking forward to see how they implement the bucket. Yeah, you know, I, I, I told them that'd be the thing that'd this really sell the new copies. It could be this game's Noam Chomsky. I said. Maybe. Others might have considered it Maybe so we'll go platinum, Stanley and then we can have a, an alternate box art as though he had been made exactly with the bucket. For this job. And Stanley yeah. Was happy. Debatably. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. The number two something arrived! that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour. Oh, yeah. When he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Apologies. No one I thought you were going to say not one single thing has been changed, meeting, barring these even fucking balloons time. for Kaylee! All his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. Nope. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, regained. he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. You're implying I ever had them. That's almost a compliment. It's a good thing it came before we ever made a bond and realized we hated each other. That's how you know it's meaningless. Kevin, I still can't pop the balloons. What's the bloody... Oh, there's one in there. 
all of his co-workers were gone, what could it mean? I think it might mean they had an allergy to, to meeting, latex. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his Kevin, you didn't put any balloons out here! You fucking suck! You know it's my favorite place I'm not supposed to be! You know! <gasps> it's the bucket! Oh! A clone? No, there's no clone. Bucket! Stanley picked up the bucket. I did! It didn't laugh this time. Uh, uh, you know, maybe I should do Kevin a favor and you know, get into the role a little bit. Oh, man! Looks like I... Was that always been there? Missed the party, man! Oh! Woe is me! Where'd everybody go? Stanley pressed the bucket upon every little thing in the office. Nothing responded to the bucket's touch. Wait. But it did little to discourage Stanley's belief in the magic of the bucket. You... You... That's, that's your way of telling me that it does something on something, isn't it? That's... That's, that's, that's your way. That's what you... That's... You... No, you're right. No, you're... You're right. Eventually, the bucket will... Will do something. No, I believe you. No, you're right. I... I just gotta... I think it's a lie, isn't it? Kevin, you're bothering me. Kevin? Ke Kevin? Kevin, you're scaring me. What are- Oh. Kevin? Stanley took the bucket with him into this little hallway and closed the doors. I did. This was their hideout. No one would ever find them here. Of course, no one would ever find them anyway because everyone was missing. True. But Stanley chose to ignore this fact and instead focus on how cool the hideout was. It's nice. Just him and the bucket. Two renegade heroes against the world, yeah. inside their secret, undetectable hideout. Shut the window. Here, next to room 417. Huh. What a treat. Uh, it's nice if it weren't for the putrid coffee stain. Or tea. It's hard to tell when it's gone onto the fabric. But hey! You know, I... Didn't have to hear you describe the stepladder this time, so... That's nice, I guess. Ah, no, apparently not. I did! I... What was that noise? I heard something. What was, what was there? Who did they? Who they? Alright. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Wait a minute. If everything's the way it was... Maybe you haven't already closed the broom closet. I'll give you what you want. Just because I think that I'm going to get what I want. Damn it. Maybe something will happen. I've got to, I've got to cover my bases in case the door's still pissing boarded up. Come on. This is all I need. Oh, and you... Oh! Two-way door. Nice. Still no one was here. Nope. Uh Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Oh, I sure Perhaps did. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Yeah, but what if the projector has a secret slide that mentions the bucket if I wait long enough? But I don't have the patience, so I'm just going to go to the broom closet because... <gasps> oh, Stanley. Can you feel it? What? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. <gasps> you can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy, <gasps> it's as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. Where do I put it? I can really feel it now. Where do I? It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. It's supposed to go with the other cleaning supplies. <laughs> Good for you, Stanley. Don't give in. Don't hand over the bucket. But I want to! I know how hard it must be, given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders right now, but you have to be strong. No! This is your bucket. No! This is your companion. No, it's not. And lifelong friend. I've just met it! You can't hand it over. I can. No. I... We're getting into name-calling now, it seems. Huh? This is how low the broom closet has sunk. Well, we didn't even do that bit yet! To this stream of petty insults, simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? What happened to your voice? Stanley, I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons. Me, But even right? this is worse than I had imagined. And wait. Now the broom closet has the gall to imply 
that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting friends? We're not. That your relationship is purely superficial and convenient? Yeah. That your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happened to lay in your path in an even partially enticing manner? Well, I never... Well, I... Go on, Stanley. Lay into it. Really tell the broom closet off for its demeaning comments. No! Expand on the wide variety of experiences you and the bucket have shared together. You are... Go through each of them point by point. You are a Share voice your in my head. Detailing the rich emotional I'm not arguing with a room. For the bucket, as they have changed and evolved over the years. Let him have it. I... Kevin, I think you need to talk to somebody with a degree. And I don't mean in electrical engineering. Okay, I've got you something which I think will help settle this debate once and for all. Here we go. Alright. Oh! There. Oh. Now it's settled. No more debate. No more discussion. Take a hike, broom closet, with all your meandering philosophical diatribes about the nature of cleaning supplies and their relationship to broom closets in the natural order of things. What? I... This doesn't change much, do you know? I'm still here, and I still want to... All right, I've got a second sticker back here. What? And I'm going to slap it on as well because I think it's appropriate. You see? What? I feel that it works because the sticker is also a bucket. No, the sticker is that a sticker works. with a if picture of a bucket on it. Whether the thing you're holding is a bucket or not, you can look down at this sticker and say to yourself, what? Oh, it's a bucket. Oh, it should say you're bucket in that case. Of applications for this sticker. If I don't know what a bucket is by looking at it, why would a picture of what it looks like help me? Kevin? Now you're stupid! You know what? I could take the name calling and the dismissal of your kinship with the bucket, but now the broom closet is just giving us a silent treatment. It and always honest, was! I'm sick of the pettiness on display. You can stay here all you like, but I've had it with this impetulant room of cleaning supplies. Easily the most childish such room I've ever been in. Well, go I'll on see then. you outside. Fuck and off! We'll get on with the story about you and your bucket. Piss off! You weird old man! Why did you... I... How has this helped me? It's a sticker with a picture of this bucket on it! It's like a mirror that isn't up to date. I don't... Am I the bucket? Is he coming back? Can I leave this bucket? I can't leave the... I don't believe I can put this down. And I think I need to lull him into a false sense of security by leaving this room, so he comes back. Kevin! Kevin? Ke Kevin? I need to inquire about the ma magical properties of your sticker-using abilities, because the second sticker you put down is somehow underneath the first one. This is some David Blaine shit. Kevin! I'm going back in. Thank you, Silas, for the ten dollars. Legit found this under the couch. Guess it's yours now. Stop it! Oh, I don't think he's coming back. I'll go backwards. Oh, of course, now. The bucket doesn't let me open doors. The bucket just weighs me down and gives me a sore arm. Coming to a yep. staircase. Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. But what if I went downstairs where the bucket has been begging to be this entire time, hmm? Because by the looks of it, that's what I can- <gasps> Oh my god! You found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these. Only oh, yeah. the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. You can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. Oh. So- I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. Okay. I, I mean, it's kind of like the figurines from Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, really. You know, I took the pictures in the color photograph taker and gave it to the dude that made figurines on a stand. The same way I collected them in... The Super Smash Brothers of the same era. I felt joy. I didn't need a little trophy with a banner in the background to pop up with a pointless numerical value and a name on it. 
I did it because it made me feel good. No, you're right. No, that is enough for me. But Stanley just couldn't do it. Do what? He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. Huh. He might be fired for that. Can I get in my car? In such a competitive uh -huh. economy, why had he taken that risk? True. All because he believed everyone had vanished. Yeah. His boss would think he was crazy. <laughs> and then, something occurred to Stanley. I have a bucket. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. Yeah. He looked down at the bucket in his arms. Uh. Am I crazy? He asked the bucket. Yes. The bucket returned his gaze, but said nothing at all. It can't do the That's first strange, bit. Stanley thought. Usually the bucket is a source of guidance and wisdom for me in difficult times. It never has lives. done that. He held the bucket close. He had felt none of its familiar reassurance and comfort. Oh. And that's when Stanley realized, this isn't my bucket. Oh, no. It's just a normal, everyday bucket. Oh, not this. Someone else's bucket, perhaps. No, it's mine. I end up with someone else's it's bucket. It's got my sticker this on it. With my wrong. name. Surely no what? Good Where's it? Come from this. Who knows Where what it? sorts of bizarre what? hallucinations Stanley I... might experience without the what psychologically what? grounding presence of his bucket. What did you take it? And indeed. How did you take it? Did I take it from myself? Of course, very How do I give it myself back? Now he felt himself floating off the ground. Oh, for oh, gracious. Again, get me on the car. Without Let me on the I car, you doll. Oh. Where is it? I must find it. Far off in the distance right. now, he heard it. I'm going to find it. Stanley. Yep. Oh, Stanley. he's role playing. He's really getting into it now. It's all right. I'll find the bucket. The bucket? Yeah, I'll find the bucket. Because now I'm one of those women from EastEnders. Bucket! I found it! I found I found the bucket. He had to nice. find the bucket. Right. He had to return to his old friend. It Wait, no, I haven't. Truly restore his no, I haven't. No, it's, it's a lot more buckets. He knew oh, fuck. Is any of them mine? inside of him all along. What? It was incredibly painful. Stanley doubled over in agony. What is? And blacked out. What's that? This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Oh, that was quicker. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, picked up her bucket of comfort and security, oh, for and walked to her place of work. Stop it with the bucket! But on this particular day. Her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming without to a bucket and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Right. Right away, she knew what the problem was. Didn't have the bucket. This man had no bucket. No bucket. Of course he'd gone mad. Naturally. Ranting and raving about a narrator describing all of his actions and how everything is predetermined of course. and free will is an illusion and it's all just a video game. Without it a bucket. Could all have been prevented if only he'd taken his bucket with him. Of course. Perhaps he didn't even realize he'd forgotten his bucket at home in the first place. Of course. How cruel the world can be, Mariella thought. Mm. And she hugged her own bucket even tighter. Did she? But of course, she had no time for She's this. She's unflinching. There were a myriad of confusing problems she would soon have to confront at work, for which her bucket would provide absolute guidance and total clarity on everything. There's a lot of balloons. Yes, she thought to herself. My life kicks ass. And figures of me. She backflipped all the way to work. Sorry. Can I see that? I'd like to see that, Kevin! Damn sight more than like to see balloons and buckets! Oh. Uh, fear not, though. For balloons and buckets, it's all Stanley has. Meeting today. Oh, I sure hope I make it. Thank you, Kesmid, by the way, $10. Brett, the best person to listen to when work is crap and co-workers won't listen to you about what they are doing wrong. Hope your day's going better than mine. I'm wishing you absolute best. I really am fucking sorry to hear that. Hopefully tomorrow will be better, and if it isn't, eventually it will get better, and you'll look back on these days and think, they were the problem, not me. Is there a figurine? Hiding? Can they be in varying sizes? All of his co-workers were gone. Mm. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps yeah. he had simply missed a memo. Um, Kevin, we're crossing the streams, Kevin. The stickers from the broom closet that I'm supposedly not already been at are on my bucket. Stanley lifted the bucket into his arms. Kevin. And a wave of comfort rushed over him. Mm. That's a bunch of bullshit and you and I both know it, Kevin. I haven't felt comfort since I was 12. When I still slept in the same bed as my mother. Kevin, now you're just trying to annoy me. Kevin, I've considered that uh, 
Stanley clung the bucket to his cheek. Huh? Could his co-workers really all be gone? Yes. Evidently. Unless Kaylee took him out for an all-night boozer. <laughs> hey, Kevin. I'm going to take the bucket and I'm going to fill it with light! Yes, whispered the bucket into Stanley's ear. We've done it. We've escaped from that dull office and that pesky narrator. Yeah. At last, out here in the white void, we are alone now. And for the first time, I can reveal to you my true self. Oh, Christ. The bucket began to tell Stanley of its life and its history. Oh. Of the countless wars it witnessed, oh. desecrating the land and lives of untold numbers of innocent humans. Oh. And the bucket's own complicity therein. Oh. Of sadness and regret and the many years it spent dwelling on the actions it might have taken to curb the madness and the decay, oh. if only it had been stronger. Of hope and redemption, and its crusade to uplift the stock of life for the common man, oh. to manifest justice where none existed. What are you saying? And the bittersweet reality of time, to see one's dreams and wishes met halfway, oh. meted out in parcels like charity, and abandoned as soon as the warm glow of inspiration begins to dim. Oh. The opportunities to do so much more. You're not saying there anything. There was so much it could have done. These are words. Perhaps, the bucket oh. wondered to itself. Perhaps if it had seen its own darkness with a clearer perception. Mm. This was way too much for Stanley. What are you talking about? He screamed. You're a bucket. To this, the bucket furrowed its brow. What? No, said the bucket. Doesn't have a brow. Not since the evil wizard Gambhorata first what? ensnared me in his machinations as payback for the sacred amulet I stole from his treasured machinations. Vault. I was young back then and could not conceive the ramifications of. No. What? Stanley screamed even louder this time. This is stupid. Yeah. You are a bucket. What are you? This is so stupid. What are you doing? Are we even Doing this. My point exactly. As Stanley screamed and screamed and screamed, the bucket revealed its true form, uh -oh. transforming into a mighty beast of untold uh -oh. power. Its oh, fangs no. glistening like oh, sword fighting. My God! What? Stanley, you did it! Where did I? You saved us from the bucket. Get the knife! Thank God, you already had all twelve emblems of sages and knew the incantations to summon their true power. Otherwise, uh, we would have easily can... been overwhelmed by the bucket's what? power. I'm speechless. What is this? You've demonstrated such bravery here today. But what is that? Come, let's restart the game. No! I will agree to never again go trifling with this bucket, nor the dark magic cast away inside of it. Don't you dare. I... But... The bucket's still gonna be there, right? I can fix him. He'll change. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? No, I can... Stanley decided to go mm. to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Figurine finders. Oh, look, the bucket's fine. Oh, he won't hurt me again. He loves me. The confusion and the chaos all seemed to melt away as Stanley embraced the bucket. Yeah. Embraced the bucket. Not the... Snarling teeth, having not book it. Oh well, I'm sure you won't remember that I murdered you, cold-heartedly. Either that, or just covered you with a lot of jam. Kevin, the door st Fuck it. I'm never forgiving you for this. Um. Uh, the Demon Overlord had, I thank you very much for the five dollars. Here, take the money, have done. She'll spend it on... food. I'll be real. Callum Ross with a five. If this game keeps on going about buckets, I reckon Brett will likely kick the bucket. I've already thrown it over my head, worn it, and fucked it. Dark, I don't think we might need to let the bucket out of here. Maybe we need to let it escape here. Don't start. Don't start. I don't know where I need to throw it, but I'm throwing it somewhere. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Uh, do I, though? No, oh, go on then. What? What? Wait, is, is this one of them? It is, isn't it? Small floating. We have synergized our reach to ensure that there was no memo from management. 
Um, there will be a re the trust of the can. How can you tell you've spotted one? What makes them float in the air? Who took these pictures of them? Why aren't these pictures illusions actually housing the collectibles? I uh, follow clues provided by employee four four one six. Four one six. Can I go backwards. Thank you. Good. Good luck. All right. Let's check under the. This would be a silly if you missed that. Lol. Looks like four two seven. Ha ha ha. Why am I the subject of ridicule? You're all me, you fucking freaks. Just gonna. Wait, Chris. Retrieve Chris's remains from warehouse floor. Retrieve Chris's remains. Um. All right. I see no problem here. I. Now wait a moment. Kevin. Stanley, we must move on from this broom closet simply because I have no remaining stickers. You do. If I did, you can guarantee we'd be in here for hours. Nah. But alas, no stickers. I don't believe you. I don't. I bet if I wait, you'll run out to the shop and you'll go make some or get some more for me. I know you will. And if you don't, I have voices in my head that I can listen to that aren't you. Like Andrew Dent with 32 fucking dollars. <laughs> Thank you. Glory to the bucket. If you could fill the bucket with glory, I already would have. All right, Kevin, I'm bored now. All right. Well, that's right. Kevin! Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Kevin, I've come to the conclusion the bathroom must house a mini-me. And I'm not talking about Vern Troyer. I knew it. Another miniature Stanley figurine. This, um, you know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini-stans? No! Stanley figs. Um... What about Stanlerines? I like that yes, one. I think I like that. Yeah. Another Stanlerine under your belt. I put them there. Anyway, I'm fine with this. Bucket, can I fill you with water? W toilet water? Any fucking thing at all? Get! Wait a moment. What the f- You don't close now. You close later! Wait. Well, that must mean that something's different here. But I don't... I don't know what that is. I'm not gonna go in there. I'm just not going to. Elevator! I'll be honest, I was expecting a bucket. Man, I always, I always think that's gonna be uh, quieter than it is. I always, I always, I never expect the speakers to be on full blast. Is this elevator music for the hard of hearing? If not, it's gonna be elevator that creates hard of hearing. How long do I need to wait before I'm confident that nothing's going to happen in the elevator? Don't br- Alright, I'm not dealing with the breathing. I'm not dealing with that. No. You took it too far. Personal space. It's the same fucking place. Every time. Go. No, it's your what? Invisible wall? What? I don't like you anymore. I'm an elev hater. <laughs> We've been here before, haven't we? Only we didn't have the bucket before, did we? No, we didn't. No, not one bit. Hey, bucket, you wanna go see the infinite abyss? Huh? 
You want to go see an escape pod leave without? Why does this look different? The brightness looks different in my broom closet. Come on! Damn it. I... Now you can tell me I'm crazy, but I know when I'm not crazy. I was right. Oh yeah. I forgot. This was all creepy. I've got to go to room 416. And book it. You think they're going to let us go to room 416? Huh? I think they might. I think they might let us. I think we... I think we might actually be permitted to... To go where we want to go, Bucket. Me and you. Me and you, Brussels sprouts. Me and you. Oh, we're gonna... <gasps> Maybe I need all the figurines for this door to open. You know, it being the new, new content inside the new content where I can collect the new content inside the new content to get the new, 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 new content. Maybe. My brain is too frazzled to tell. Can I put the bucket back? That would not be sacrilege. The hell was I thinking? Ah, I mean, I'm, I'm insane. Ah, that'd be the stupidest thing I could ever potentially perceive to do. Do you do anything? I need to knock on you, don't I, when I get back here. When my definite not death happens. You are now... Mm-hmm. I am. Oh, yeah. Elevator! With no ele- Okay. Is this door work? Damn it, I was hoping that the door without a keyhole, the key would be a bucket that's bucket-shaped. It's alright. Just the infinite climbing of these stairs. No narrator present. Praying that one of the red doors works. Praying that something somewhere, at some point, may be different because I'm holding a bucket while doing this. No, please, try it. Try it at home uh, the next time you go about your day. This time, hold... Is that a button? That's a stain. Hold a bucket during your daily routine and see what's different. Maybe you'll find some different occurrences. Like you have one less hand to hold all the fucks you don't give. Like you're incapable of balance due to the new weight. Or maybe doors will appear where they previously were not. All the benefits of holding buckets in one's hand. Maybe even wrapping an arm around it and holding it close like a loved one. Like a friend you're yet to fully bond with but will soon because of the physical closeness and the emotional closeness. Maybe. Who knows? Anyway, I don't have a narrator, but I... Oh, I have a bucket. The bucket may have gone. It's hard to tell due to the infinite abyss and the darkness in front of me that's touching you. <gasps> touching me. Book it. It was for you, boy. All along. It was your escape pod. It was meant for you. You go. I'll stay. Live your life the way you always wanted to. Collecting rain. Slowly. Gathering holes. And eventually. Letting the rain fall through you. And you were meant to collect. Go, little bucket. You escape. Because I can't. Because I'm still... FUCKING STUCK HERE! See you, Bucket. You know, I expected some finality there. Some... I... Anything, really. And instead... I'm... Still here! F fucking hell! I didn't mean to press that button. What just happened? Farewell, Bucket. We shall miss you.
Also, this was five minutes ago. Oh. Been a long time, viewer, since your Shadow of Mordor series. Take my money, fellow bald and beautiful man. Thank you for the years of entertainment. Keep it up. Andrew Den, Arbor de Vito. Lemons. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? I don't need my co workers. Or I go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Did I? I. I sent it. It's actually... The escape pod works! But I... Still... Can't... Use it myself! I... Fucking hate the bucket even more than I already... Wait. Give... Just, just give me a minute. Just give me a hot dang, hot dog, gone diggity oh, please. moment. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? But my bucket. Click a door five times. Oh, is come that on. all that you think an achievement is worth? Book it, though. No, 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 no. Oh. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. No. A measly five clicks. No, Kevin. Now, suppose you were to click the door 20 times. No, Kevin. I would say I'm shutting the door the on this conversation. Shut up. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. How in the fucking holy hell do I get my bucket back? This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley book it. knew it perfectly well. Book it! Perhaps he wanted to stop B by the employee book it. first. Just book, admire book it! Book it! Hey! Hey, have you, s have you seen my bucket? It's my... I, um, but no. I... Uh, book uh, it. Yes. No, book Truly it's not a taking a break. Admiring. Book it, uh, to get back to business, book, book it, Stanley took the first open somewhere. door left. Book it. B oh, balloons, bal Maybe the bucket's down in the maintenance corridor. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, <laughs> walked straight ahead to the Shut opposite door. Shut up, Kevin! Back on track. This bucket will be here. Book it'll be somewhere. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. Never did. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. <laughs> so now in order to, back, he to go in... Book it. Book it, you gotta be here. His co-workers were wait, no. This isn't the right office, is it? Yes. Is this Stanley's office? What? Yes! I look! Four two seven. 427! Got the balloons! There's the window of being trapped! You got the signs for the finders! You're not my fucking bucket! And try not to lose this one too, you dolt. I... I... Oh, well, I mean, fair enough. Hey, Kevin! If I bang the bucket on this door, will you say something different? Oh, please. Ah! Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now, suppose you were to click the door 20 times. No. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Wait. Maybe. Does he maybe do something different? Kevin! I've got snort hiccups, Kevin. Kevin! Kevin, you better say something different. 
when I press this fucking door. Twi Twenty fucking times, you piece of shit. Hmm. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing <laughs> Fuck! for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly 50 clicks. I've already left, Kevin. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest mm. and entered the door on his left. No, this is the stream of things where I tell you to shove it up your ass. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. Correct. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, <laughs> telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. You know, Bucket, I'm starting to warm to you, even though you're not the Bucket. You're Bucket number two. You're, re you're replace Bucket. You're... You're re-Bucket. But... You know, you, you, you tend to take the blame a lot of the time for me. It's quite nice. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No. Nope. Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Oh. Yes, perhaps it truly was. Oh, it is! And how insightful the bucket turned out to be. Good. I'm going to take a seat right here, bucket. I'm pretending to sit, of course, because my legs won't allow me to actually park my cheeks anywhere. It's a hell of a burden I, I, Truly, I have. Truly, being here with the bucket was a grand adventure. Stanley reflected on all they'd been through together. First, walking through the door on the right. Then walking to the lounge. Then arriving at the lounge. What a thrilling journey the bucket had inspired. Huh. You're right. Now go on, speak ill of the bucket, I dare you, you pompous prick. Perhaps this was where the bucket felt most truly at home. Here in the employee lounge. Perhaps it's the only place a bucket can even feel at home. Could it be a warehouse? Or a shed? Maybe a garage? Probably not a lounge. That's where a mug would feel at home. Stanley decided to just give the bucket absolutely as much time as it needed to be in the lounge. Uh -huh. Clearly, the bucket and the employee lounge shared a special connection. Like Rod A and Slot B. You've seen all the leaflets, haven't you, Kevin? Just like that. I just wish these blinds were real and weren't painted on. Because this is offensive to my eyes and brain. Kevin, you better not be done with the bit. I've still got lines I've had prepared. You can't cut me short like this, dude. Might be improv night, but come on. Keep going. Yes, and, Kevin. Come on. Come on, yes. Yes, how? For Fucking lazy piece of freeloading, half assing shit. But finally, the bucket was done being in the lounge. Oh, and they took the first open door on their left to get back to business. Now, I don't believe I'll be doing that. I'm going to find the bucket its actual home, seeing as the last one I sent off got its freedom. I'm going to see if it wanted to be in the warehouse. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. What? I thought that was my voice, Kevin. That is nice. We can speak to each other on first name basis. Sis. Huh. Huh. Okay. Just gonna go over here and get my, uh, my Stanlerine. Stanlerine. My Stanner. Okay, I'm going back to the name of these little Stanley figurines. And now I'm torn between Stanlerines and Figlies. Figlies! Think, Stanley. What name better encapsulates the intrinsic sense of happiness that you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one? Let me sit on it. I'm sure it will come to me. It's Figly. It's, it's a, you know, that's the food that helps you poo. Who wouldn't find that to be a fond, lovely name for a small man made of plastic? You better not be made of plastic, damn it! All right, we got enough microplastics. I'm, I'm eating a credit card every month. I could have killed myself, but instead I'm going to go in this Stanley-sized vent and. And be rather confused. Why? Is there a picture of a knight there? 
All right, all right, cool. Ah, fine, sure. What the hell is that? Please. Oh, I don't want to go there. It looks scary. Oh, come on. Why? What the... What the fuck is this? What is... I mean... Narrated dialogue. It's... It's narrated dialogue. Why is there a room of cassette tapes? N narrator? I... Jean? Jean? Kevin? If you're just tapes, who's playing the tapes? Kevin? Oh! Kevin? Okay. This is day number 295. Tape number... I don't even know. I've lost track. Who would... Nothing feels real anymore. Are you Kevin? The longer I study this bucket, the less sense anything makes. Who are you? The you sheer euphoria I feel every time I pick it up. What? Stanley? No matter how many times I've done it, it's Stanley. always the same feeling. It's Stanley? And the emptiness in my chest when I set it down. I think you have a condition. It doesn't make sense. You should see a doctor. There's no explanation for it. For your body or your head, really. I still haven't figured out why I see the world so differently when this bucket is in my arms. I don't know. Why everything feels so... I... Good? What do I do with this treasure? Send it in the space, I did. I can, I can monetize it. What? Yes. No! Don't train wreck it's it! It's unthinkable the amounts of money people will pay for even just an hour with the bucket. You're going a little... Don't... This is my golden ticket. I mean... But I have to be careful. Because as soon as this gets out, there's going to be a target on my back. I mean, monetize it. Even now, I don't know who might be trying to get me. You, you can't spell Stanley without Who's EA. That? Who's there? Whoa. Camarada. What? No. That's just something the narrator made up. That was just stupid. That was a figment of my imagination. Oh. I am beginning to truly question what is at play here. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the oh. meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh. Warmth spread through Stanley's arms. Yeah, my With chest. In his arms again, he was home. Never left. Never left. The bucket's my friend. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his nope. chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. It wasn't. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the yeah, I felt was simply the Stanley Gamborota and here it was, going a the little crazy, the was in a trying to murder me, the maybe, or Stanley. Stanley took the maybe the Stanley that isn't me. Back to the meeting room. I'm really not sure. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. No. Go there. I'm Go to the cargo lift. I'm remembering now that there was a dead body that I was told to retrieve from the warehouse. Maybe that was the tape cassette record play I just listened to. Event access for trained employees only. Ah, spoilers on the cardboard. Wouldn't expect that. Good said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. 
There's something up there I need you to do. Is it a... Stanley did not question why or how this Bucket was speaking to him. I did. It should have alarmed him, of course, because Buckets can't talk. They can't. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. Okay. He was firmly convinced that the Bucket had yeah. spoken to him. Balloons. And he unthinkingly did whatever the Bucket asked. It's funny, isn't it? I listened to the Bucket, but not you. Anyway. In here, said the Bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once it, again obeyed blindly. Is it that? Is it th I that one's kind of bright, Bucket. You must mean this one. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty bright too. Is it, did you mean this, Bucket? You're not making any sense. It's very bright in here. Oh, you were speaking about a room neither of us could see yet because you skipped ahead in the script. Silly, Bucket. <laughs> now pick up the phone, said the Bucket. No. Nope. Pick up the phone. And it will take us back home, where we can go about life together. Wait. Maybe. Maybe it will. I mean, after all, the booker hasn't led me wrong so far. I'm blind! This is the sad story of a man named Stanley and his bucket. Oh. Once upon a time, I gave Stanley a bucket because I thought he was lonely and could use a Oh, for friend. fuck's sake! And then, very distressingly, he began to believe the bucket could speak to him. <laughs> oh, I have a better house with the bucket than I do my wife. My fake wife. Still not sure if that was real. Huh. Okay. Wait. What's real? Hello? What do I. Oh, the door's closed. Am I supposed to try and leave? I. Hello? What's happening? What do I, uh. What do I. Why am I in here without a bucket? I have many water-containing objects, but I... <gasps> oh! Oh, there you are, bucket! What? What? No, the... Kevin usually speaks for you, bucket. You don't have text on the screen. Silly bucket. Jay is for joking! Uh, the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket was merely meant to provide the comforting glow of companionship. It's gone, though. It doesn't literally talk and give you orders. Well, I know- Whatever Stanley is hearing the bucket say to him is just in his head. Well, yes, so are you, Kevin, but... The bucket told me to take it to work, and now I don't have it, and the balloons are gone. I... Uh, I don't like it. Make it stop. I... Why are you here? I didn't bring you here. Why? I didn't touch the bucket. Why would I take you home? I only just brought you here, silly bucket. That's not a work shift, bucket. Lately, I've been concerned about him. Wouldn't you be concerned as well? Why? To see him delusional like this, obsessing over an inanimate metal object? Why? I want to say something to him, but I don't know how I can convince him. I don't know if he'll listen to me. I can't stop listening to you! That's the problem! Why is the... Yes, Bucket! And... N is for the nagging sensation the bucket gives me every time I touch it! Well, I'll try anyway. Stanley, can you hear me? Listen to me. It's just a bucket. It can't think. It can't talk. Neither can I. All it will ever truly do for you is effectively transfer a liquid from one location to a different location. That's it. It doesn't do anything else. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, don't listen to the loud man. Press K for us to go back home. K for the bucket nose. Oh. You see, he's not listening. I am. He's still taking orders from the bucket. I can do both. You know, once upon a time, it was me he took orders from. Uh. Me he trusted and listened to. Mm. Now all he cares about is this awful bucket. Uh -huh. This stupid hunk of metal. Well, it's more of a frame of metal. A hunk would be a boulder, a ball, a, a, a come lately, or a... Where's the bucket, Kevin? You can't take away the bucket. We've established the dominance the bucket has over me. If I don't find it and do what it tells me to do, I won't be happy. H is for happy. It's sad. I suppose he doesn't need me oh. anymore. From now on, he's just going it's to cling to this bucket. This light. cold, empty bucket. It's light. This sort of shiny bucket. I'm working late. Well, I'll give it this. The bucket does uh, have a nice shine to it's it. It's over time. It's over time. Bucket. It's G. For gonorrhea. Ah! Oh. Yes, like me, in it relation like to the office, Stanley is gone really quickly. Sturdier, more capable of transporting liquid. I can do I can that, but it's on a timer before, before it falls out another. the front of me. Relive this same day with me. B is for belittlement and berating and Bullying, but mostly it's for bucket. Oh my god, what am I saying? Better at carrying oh. water from room to room. It's a bucket. Oh. It's literally just a bucket. Oh. Why do I feel some need to point out the ways in which it's so mm. much more than just a regular no, bucket? Not. Well, ah. Oh. Go home to work to home to work to home. R is for religion, and mine is the book. Oh no, I'm, I'm having feelings for the bucket. No, oh. no, 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 no. What's going on? Why do I want to be with the bucket? Kevin. Hear what the bucket has to say. Do Let's... anything it asks. What's wrong with me? I don't understand. Kevin. Perhaps, perhaps if I had the bucket, this would be less confusing. Yes. The bucket could tell me what to do in this troublesome situation. Kevin, we can't have a love triangle with a bucket. You're just a voice. I'm just a floating eye. We can't have a love tri- It's time to fuck the bucket. Stanley, give me the bucket. Give it to me. Give me the bucket, Stanley. No! I need it. Give it to me now. No. Give it or I'll- Oh. Oh. Okay. Which button's that? Oh. B. B. Blue. B blue. The goddamn room is blue. Why is and the, where, I can't close the door. I bucket blue bucket is for all of his co-workers were gone. Blue. What could it mean? It, Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. But where's that? Where's me? Whiteboard ending. Dog mode. <laughs> when does it end? When does it end? Hey. Oh. When does it end? Hey. 
whiteboard. What does that say up there? I've been wondering for a while. Well, what did it say there? The dog doesn't know. I... Oh well. Thanks for the... The maybe ending, 426. Oh, glad you tried. Oh. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, oh. but it didn't make a single difference, oh. nor did it advance the story in any way. I got the bucket. Stanley picked up the bucket and smiled. No. He'd never be alone again, not I truly alone. I will. Not with the bucket around. I, with the bucket, I am always reminded of my solitude. Or, there is no way that the bucket could ever hold all my sad. Or dog. One of these doors in the new blue. Ooh. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. The joke is it wants to go for walkies. Hmm. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift. Yeah, good, said the bucket. Ah! Now ride the I made you interrupt the yourself. Top. There's something up there I need Those you to do. Those are the do. little victories. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. It but Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Who let this out? Getting out of here. In here said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley, once again, a bit <sighs> blind. You know, Bucket, last time I trusted you, I ended up in a love triangle where I believe you killed Kevin. I don't want to fuck you or have you fuck him over, so... I'm afraid there's only one thing for it. It's time to pull the plug on you. Now pick up the phone. <laughs> oh, hold on. Why did you unplug the phone? Why are you laughing? Were you trying to resist the bucket's orders? Yes. Stanley, I was joking. Huh? Obviously, the bucket isn't talking to you and telling you to do things. Why well, not? Buckets can't talk. It was a joke. It's you. Don't you get the joke? It's funny, Stanley. A talking bucket. <laughs> uh, can't you see? Uh, oh, goodness. I must have really bungled up the delivery if you actually took me seriously. Right, the Where bucket... did I mess up the joke? The bucket isn't real. Should I have paused for longer? The bucket kills you. quicker. And me. Mm, comedic timing is so difficult. I wish I were better at it. What? But there isn't exactly an instructional video on comedy that one can watch to fully... Oh, yes, there is. Yes, there is. Oh. Um, oh, I didn't know you right had here. it. Let's take a look. I didn't want you to have it. No, please don't put it on. Uh, what is comedic timing? What is comedic timing? How uh. does it work? How long should it last? How can it be used to effectively silence your political enemies? Uh. And more importantly... Can it be taught in its entirety within 90 seconds? Probably not. Thankfully, the answer to all of these questions is yes. You're wrong. Let's dive deeper. Okay. If you've ever told a joke or made Ooh, someone what laugh, is that lemon based you did it while standing 50 to 80 centimeters from them in a room of no more than 76 degrees Fahrenheit with one of your arms raised straight upward Careful. at a 15 degree angle from your body. Don't put that at 30 These are degrees. The optimal conditions for good comedic timing. Oh. To begin the joke, start by stating and spelling your name. Sp Next, what? provide a brief synopsis of the joke. Including Should the specific times at which the recipient of the joke will laugh. Shouldn't the name be Jim? And then, spell out your name a second time. With these steps complete, it's time to begin the humor. Okay. Speak the entire joke in no more than 18 seconds and no less than 13 and a half. 
pausing only for bathroom what? breaks when necessary. I... When the joke has concluded, it is customary to inform your listener that the joke is over by declaring in your loudest possible voice, I'm Dunny with the funny. Oh. Let's practice screaming, I'm Dunny with the funny now. No. Absolutely not. Good. This saying is a perfect example of expectations management, which is the cornerstone of good comedy. I... Finally, it's time to hand out surveys. Oh. Collecting hard data from your audience on how rat they were throughout the joke is the only way to grow or learn as a comedian. Okay. An effective survey should be no less than 10 pages long what? and should include the same question Who's reprinted that several third times. Hand? Just to ensure the survey taker is actually paying attention and not simply filling in answers at random. Why doesn't that and thing that's have all a... there is. With yeah. these strategies at your disposal, oh. you'll have audiences oh. over in Oh! Those are haunting! One of them has cat- no Several of them have Just cat eyes! let them stop laughing at some point, you gut-busting little scamp. Oh. After all, we're each of us oh. needed on the front lines of the war to fight the twelve-legged invader who threaten our very existence, Ooh. and to very likely die in a hailstorm of bullets and mandibles. Oh. All of us must be prepared to give our lives to this noble cause. Why does that have a human le after us, oh, and their dead. children after them. Oh. God speed, and may Earth reign what? supreme. Who was that for? Commi Hey, goodness, this video is a little outdated, isn't it? That's well, old. no matter. I think the fundamentals of proper comedic timing are still as relevant today as they were back then. Back then? So with that in mind, what happened? I believe the only way forward is for us to return to the two doors and walk through all of this again. No. So I can try telling my story oh. with more appropriate comedic delivery. Please, don't, delivery. don't, don't. Along, let's head back. Oh. Oh. <sighs> After all that, I was really hoping that I'd be the one to kick the bucket. I'm Dunny with the funny! Well. Oh, I forgot I was a dog! Alright. Okay. I can feel it. This time. I'm really going to nail the delivery. You'll be in stitches. Oh, a God. talking bucket, you'll say? How ridiculous. How absurd. What a hilarious concept. Oh, yeah. The king of comedy. That's what you'll call me. Yeah. Thank goodness we had the instructional video. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, who knows where we'd be right now. Well, Did I wouldn't you... be the king of comedy, that's for sure. I hate you. You know what the, the abbreviation is? To Stanley. Um, hmm. The bucket spoke. The Don't... bucket spoke. What do you... Oh, I'll figure it out on the fly. No need to overthink things. Kevin, the abbreviation of King of Comedy is especially what you are. You can flip it if you want. I don't care. Uh, I can't believe I'm still a dog. No wonder I'm going fucking barking mad. I'm a dog and I've got a bucket. There's a joke there about you taking the piss for me. Oh, look. Oh, walkies. I... I still need to go all the way back, don't I? Ah, oh, well. It's a shame when I rattle the door handles, I don't bark as well. Wouldn't that be a joy? Well, here we go. Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> When Stanley and the Bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. You delivered that... the exact same way you did before? I... You don't deserve a change. Well, I wasn't like that before. Bucket. Bucket, do you have some property that stops textures overlapping themselves? Bucket, we're going in. Oh, uh, well, uh, we're back at the phone already. Yeah. You know what's going on? There were supposed to be several rooms leading up to this. Oh. There was supposed to be a build-up to this point. A dramatic display of remarkable oh. comedic wit, which culminates in this scene with the phone. S sorry for woofing. Timing's completely off. Joke will never land. 
Well, not the way it was meant to. Sorry. It's all my fault. I must have forgotten that the phone room comes immediately after the two doors. No, it room. doesn't. What an egregious mistake. Uh, it's my... I've made a fool of myself. It's my fault. I don't deserve the title of king of comedy. I'm nothing. You do. I'm not even the lowliest joke-telling wealth. You're not. I think... I think I need to go back. No, 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 we don't need that. You know what you're doing. You're a master of comedy. You're the king of it. You. Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> when Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. Kevin, you delivered the joke the same way again. You know what that means, don't you? It's time for more video informational guides! Well, uh, we're back at the phone already. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh! Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> when Stanley and the bucket oh. came to a set of two open doors, oh. they entered the door on the left. I was just praying that something will free me from this abyss. The door closed. Oh, oh I forgot I was a dog. It was... I was I... I'm having enough now. Are you still in here, Kevin? Kev Kevin? Uh, uh, we're uh, back at the phone already. Yeah. No, no, no. Oh. Nope. Here we go. Joseph <coughs> Gordon when Levitt. Stanley and the bucket came to us. We're in Looper. The doors, they entered the door on the left. All oh, right, Kevin, tell no, me no, you. No, no, no. You were supposed to go through the door on the right, leading back to the phone. What? Did you not even look at the instructional video? What you... I think this is all covered very clearly. No, There's no I... way I can make the comedic timing work now. It's what? done. The joke is completely what? down and over. It's all your fault, Stanley. I'm going to be ridiculed in the community of other joke writers. I'm going oh. to be shamed at every one of our meetings from now on. I... All because you couldn't watch a simple video and take a hint. There were Are bugs. you proud of yourself for bringing me down, Stanley? Are you proud? Oh, for... <gasps> Stanley, you love the bucket so much, it's like you... Um, it's as though all of your other most prized possessions pale in comparison. <laughs> yes. uh, well, let me try that again, um, Stanley. I laughed. I heard that you are pale with shame <laughs> over how unabashedly in love with a bucket you are. Uh, that sucked. No? The first well, one was it, better. You it stick is a to the... Pale with shame. No, I get it. Pale with shame? No, it's just pale... you would... The first would... What's another word to describe a bucket? Um... Stanley, this bucket is so metal, I think I saw it playing guitar. Huh. No. No, 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 no. We're getting um. away from making fun of Stanley's obsession with the bucket, which was the whole point of this. I yeah, I... I'm no good at these jokes. Um... I need more instructional videos. That's exactly what Don't I you fucking dare. You have got me videos. stuck in the ceiling again. If you dare. Play one of those bl This is somehow worse. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps a good old bucket. Yep. Just Stanley and the bucket. Off on another thrilling adventure together. Mm -hmm. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Um, being Mandela affected, I thought those doors were supposed to start closed. I'm really beginning to wish this bucket were on my head. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge... <gasps> oh, I don't to be. bark anymore! And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Well, no... Never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left huh. to go back to the meeting room. I don't remember him sounding so sad about that before. No, said the bucket. Uh. Don't go to the meeting room. Uh. Go somewhere else. The cargo uh, lift. Okay. Yes. Good. So let's place and give the five. Hello, board man. This is now my first time casting life because I lost my job. Top. This seems sensible, did it? Goose! Stanley did not question Thank why you so I fucking much. Appreciate you. Please look after yourself. Should have alarmed Everything's going better for you. I really do. Don't but waste Stanley your money on me. To think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced Shut up! that the bucket had spoken to him, um. and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket Hello? asked. Hello, Kevin. I'm on the catwalk. 
sometimes with, you know, if it wasn't for the fact we had to put the fucking poor boy down, would be a funny, like, a, a opposite and antithesis, considering I would have been a dog on a catwalk. Why aren't you speaking to me, Kevin? Right. Oh. Why is it painted like that? Why? Why it almost makes an E. Oh. Two B one. Oh, that's not the bucket room. Two B three. That's that's not. No, that's not the stop. bucket. Look there on the wall. You see, there's a sign right there. It says, no buckets past this point. Oh. Stanley, how could you think it was okay to bring the bucket here? I didn't know. Unless, what if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket? Fair. I suppose that would explain a lot about your behavior up to this point. Yeah. Which, if that's true, well, my goodness, I think we have to do something about it. Don't put a sticker. This misunderstanding could have dire consequences on the entire rest of the game if not addressed quickly and properly. So much of the impact of the story is dependent on your understanding of what is and isn't a bucket. Okay. Please, step in here for a moment. I don't want to. Do I have to? I... I don't... No, I... What if I just... I... What if I... Uh... Um... I... Oh... Uh... What? I'm hiding. I don't want to be a part of your bucket-based story anymore. Wait a moment. Oh. Well, I guess I've got to do what it's telling me to do. <gasps> it's blue. Now then, I'm going to run you through some test scenarios, and you'll tell me whether or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. All right. Simply enough, right? This should tell us everything we'll ever need to know about what is or is not a bucket. Yes, sir. Okay, let's begin. Okay. Item one. Is this a bucket? Um. Well, I mean, it it might it's it's far as I'm aware. I mean, you know, but that that bucket there's got its handle down, and my bucket's got its handled down, and if what I'm holding is a bucket, that can't be a bucket. Correct. It is a hologram of a bucket. Oh. Not an actual bucket. Oh, I was right for the wrong reasons. That's just like being wrong. That's not good. Item two. Is this a bucket? Uh, same answers, Chris. Oh. Correct. It is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket, uh -huh. not an actual bucket. But that could still be used as a bucket. Shouldn't that make it a bucket? I... Oh. Item three. Is this a bucket? I... Of course it is. Correct. This is a bucket. No reason for that one, huh? Right. That that's just a Item fucking four. tractor. Is this a bucket? How did you get a tractor in here? And why is the engine running? There better not be a bucket riding that. That's I It can't be a It's a It's a tractor! You can't Of course it is. Are you hallucinating? This is a tractor. It's an enormous machine that tills the earth. I thought you would- This was a gimmick. How on earth did you manage to screw it up? I got Absolutely the- Absolutely incredible. I got the rest right. Let's just move on to the next one. A hey, bucket can hold fluids, that can. A driver won't do very well, but it would hold it. I can't believe you did this. Is this a bucket? Well, I mean, you clearly made great strides to point out that it wasn't previously. What? Incorrect. This is a bucket. 
Kevin, I don't think you're playing fair anymore. Kevin. Item six. Is this a bucket? Uh, I don't think I know the rules to this game we're playing. I... I it's both. Man, I wish I could bark. Trick question. Both. <gasps> gotcha. I knew it! Hey! Hey, I asked for that button! Hey! I... I feel elated. Item. Wait, hold on. I can't find the next one. Let me see. It should be around here somewhere. I... There isn't a... Of course it is. Okay. What? You and I both know there isn't anything here, and I don't appreciate the implication that nothing is a bucket when we both clearly know that a bucket is something, yeah. and therefore nothing could possibly be something. Oh. Unless, in your twisted mind, have you somehow convinced yourself that a bucket is nothing? <sighs> Answer me straight, Stanley. Do you believe that nothing is a bucket? Well... If I'm remembering correctly from the last season of Stanley Parable 2, Ultra Deluxe that isn't Deluxe or Ultra anymore, you did write a whole story that was emphasizing the point that this bucket wasn't a bucket, or at least not the bucket you were telling me it was. So to sum up, yeah. You know what? I'm too confused to even sort it out. Good. I've lost all sense of perspective. Glad it's not what just me. What is a bucket? What isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago, I could answer these questions with confidence. Only more. Huh? And yet now I'm somewhat adrift. Good. Do any of us know what a bucket is? Am I a bucket? Oh, definitely not. I mean, Stanley, I can't keep doing this. Oh, you are actually. I'm losing myself. Yes, you myself are. Myself was all I ever had. You're a bucket. I pressed the button. I'm afraid the bucket is threatening to tear our relationship apart. It killed you before. I can't have that. I'm sorry. Hey, what are you going to do? But I'm going to erase all buckets from the game entirely. I don't believe you. Okay, here we go. There's no way you'd do it. You've put too much investment. Too much. What happened? Is everything gone? Everything was a bucket. Why did everything disappear? Wait, Everything's a bucket. Was everything a bucket? I hate you. Every single thing in the game was a bucket. You're a fucking dick. Oh my god, I had no idea. Why? How could... Except me. No. I'm not a bucket after all. I told you. And you, Stanley, you're still here. Am I? You're not a bucket either. I guess I am. This is wonderful news. I can hear you. We're not buckets. I wish I was. Yes, I actually feel much more at ease right now. Really? It's delightful to get some clarity on that issue. No. But it doesn't change the fact that we haven't got a game. You never did. So, tell you what. No. I'll reset everything, and we'll put back all of the buckets, okay? Don't. And we'll know that it's all a bucket. That will mess but something if you up. Into anyone else, maybe don't mention that. Other people? Who knows what that information might do to a person. There are other people. All right, here we go. This is you and me. All right. My mug isn't a bucket. That's good. My kid. Wait. Is that a. There's a phone? There's a phone. Um. There's a phone. What's. what's it? Why is there a phone ringing? The phone doesn't ring. The phone never rings. Maybe there's a computer with input on it or solitaire. But the phone doesn't ring. Hi, Stanley. I uh, just wanted to leave you a message to let you know there's a few things I need you to pick up on your way home from work today. There's a bucket. We need milk, cereal, dish soap, spaghetti, get a thing of sugar, some bread, and coffee beans, whichever ones you like. Hmm. I'll give you a call if there's anything I forgot. Thanks, sweetie. See you tonight. Kevin, does this mean my wife was real? Also, all of those things can be put into a uniform bucket. So as soon as I get out of this hellscape and find my way to the local supermarket, eh? You'll have all those items pronto. Um, Kevin, I thought she wasn't real. I don't really know how to take any of this information. I'm still trying to process the idea that everything's a bucket. Where the hell has he gone? Where are we going today, the bucket asked. 
Stanley just smiled. Anywhere they went together would be perfectly fine with him. Kevin, I'm beginning to think that, uh... You're the... You're the bucket. Also, I must have gone mad. I've been running through this office for so long. With no one else here, I've assumed everybody's desk is mine. That wasn't my phone. That's not my wife. But I almost can certainly remember her saying Stanley. Maybe it was Sweetie. It almost rhymes with Stanley. Nearly. Huh. Oh well. Maybe we're all Stanley in the end. I mean, Bucket does rhyme with Stanley. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. I'm afraid I don't. I still have to try and go down the corridor with the bucket where buckets aren't allowed. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. I know. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned there are no out employees. Was it a, never and there's mind. a room for the, the employee lounge. Stanley took the door on his it, left to go back to the meeting. Do you really Is it just not then eventually simply a lounge? No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go right. somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. I, Good. I said hope I find the line now ride the soon. Lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley no, chose those not are to think spoilers. About his he was Spoilery words. The bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. You know, it's only now I've noticed the handle for the bucket. It wobbles. Hmm. I need to know how to throw the bucket. Maybe then. Maybe th No. No. Stop. Look there on the wall. Oh. See, there's a sign right there. It mm. says no buckets past this Oh. Stanley, how could you think it was okay to bring the bucket here? I Unless What if the oh. problem is that you actually don't know what I is a bucket and what isn't a bucket? I, I suppose that would explain a lot about your behavior up Kevin! to point, which, if that's true, Kevin, I am sorely and sweetly begging you to open this door. I need to know what happens if I take a bucket past this point. I'm so desperate to know. The build-up has been palpable. So much of the impact of the story is Kevin, I'm done with you. I never know what. Wait a hot damn minute. Stanley! I'll leave you a message to let you know there's a few things I need you to pick up on your way home from work today. Do we just have we need milk, the same cereal, name? Dish soap, spaghetti, get a thing of sugar. Okay. A good bucket. A strong bucket. Humble. A humble bucket. A yeah. committed bucket. A humble bucket, bucket nearly sounds like humbug. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. And I'm ever nearing the, the opportunity to be free of this hell soon. Any moment now, I'll be able to leave. Oh, it's still like this. Hell has a face. It's the Stan Lorenes. Stanley, we must move on from this broom closet, simply because I have no remaining stickers. If I did, you can guarantee we'd be in here for hours. But alas, no stickers. I can't help but feel that this is a cry for help, and you want me to find you some stickers. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Did it happen to have a box of stickers somewhere? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire no. if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. Oh, okay. Even now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. Huh. It would be with him always. Well, I mean, we've established. It would. That's not a case. And he knew it. You take it. The two of them were inseparable. Again, it's not true. At this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the bucket 
that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's desk. Oh, yeah. Nor in his bliss of simply being near the bucket did he have any notion that the pin number for the keypad was 2845. <sighs> I want to get out of here. It's only because I've started to like you. Ah! Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never pop that Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? No! Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. You're full of shit, Kevin. This one's not even fucking hidden! You're getting close now, Stanley. You've nearly gotten all of the Figler and Marines. What? Very soon, you'll collect the last one. What is that? And then the first number will equal the second number, and what? that will be it. What did you just... We'll be different people by then. What did you say? Different in the sense that we used to have none of them. And now, we have them all. What? You can't go back to when you had no Figler and Marines. None what? of us can. Figler and Marines? Figure and Lorene's. That sounds like a workout program made by Anne Lorene. Who the f I'll find you and fight you and lose, but it's the principle that you need to be hit. Still nothing! Figure and Lorene's. The fuck? Just for that? Just for that? I am. Certainly going back up the elevator. The elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. Death, hopefully. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. I never was. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. I'll tell you what won't be fine. Your patience, Doctor. Wait, Stanley said to the bucket. Can we go back up? Yes, we can. When I was pressing those keypad buttons, there was something very intriguing about the number three. Huh? I want to go back so I can try pressing the number three again. The hell? The bucket said nothing. It never does. What is... Why is the number three? Kevin, you better not have an ulterior motive here about having a card on for the number three. I don't want to enable you. That's what bad people do. Enablers are secret villains. Here we are, said Stanley. Now I'm going to try out that number three button. He took the bucket over to the keypad and began absolutely slamming on the oh, number three sorry. over and over and over. Well, he said, the number three is such a special button, I'm having the time of my life. Sure am. Stanley looked expectantly at the bucket, yeah. but the bucket remained silent. And empty. This was a shock to Stanley who had always felt such a connection with the bucket. Uh, How was this not as exciting to the bucket as it was to him? It isn't sentient. Once Stanley had had enough of the number three, he got back in the elevator. Wait, is the number three? The Stanley Parable three? Oh, I'm gonna press it some more. I can't believe you wasted my time with this shit. Or did I play along with you? You're a child in man's clothing. You're a fucking freak. Perhaps the bucket had missed something. Perhaps it had not seen how much joy Stanley got from slamming the That's because it doesn't have any fucking eyes! Because you don't spell bucket with an I. So you and an E, silly. A hint of regret nagged in the back of Stanley's mind. Why? Should he demonstrate the number three for the bucket again? Why do you want me to do it? You didn't want me to do it before, but now... Now... Now you'd... Well, I mean, I've got to give the narrator what the narrator wants. Kevin! No, 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 said Stanley to the bucket. You can't go on yet. Not till you understand how much the number three means to me. But you and I have been through so much together, and I just want you to see what I see. He can't. Feel the happiness Why did I say I he? Feel. It's a fucking it. It's he a bucket. It's bucket. an inhabited object. It doesn't have eyes and a mouth, brain, or a nose eyes. It's a fucking... It's, it's metal. It's metal with stickers and a bit of wood for a handle. That's all it is. It isn't a person. It can't experience the number three. It doesn't even know what fucking feelings are. Never mind numbers. Here we go, said Stanley. This time, I'll really show you. He ran to the number three 
and began to wail on it like a musician on a beloved instrument. Yeah, I'll play your flute in a minute. Of truth and I'll, be, I'll give you the fucking he toothy special. Three, like a fine artist would wield a paintbrush. He told stories through the number three. Stories of his dreams and hopes and fears. And the whole time, <sighs> he looked to his bucket for a reaction of some kind. Anything to let him know that the bucket appreciated what he was doing. The bucket conveyed absolutely nothing at all. Uh. Only silence. Crushed by a wave of dejection, Stanley returned to the elevator. Why have I become attached to the number three? Why am I expecting something now? Why am I sad for the story you wrote for me that I wanted no part Stanley of? Stanley and the bucket were so close. They'd always been there for one another. Why suddenly could the bucket not connect with this passion of Stanley's? The question caused Stanley to ruminate the whole way down the elevator. Don't make it slow. He knew that there must be a way to get through to the bucket, to communicate fully with his dear friend. I hate you. Surely there was a solution, mustn't there be? No. Unless you want to mirror the number three and then make the eight. Stick my fucking prick in you in a minute. Don't. Good. Make fuck for that. Don't you dare mention the elevator. The God, lovers! The large door that read, Mind Control Facility. You wouldn't kill the bucket, would you? Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the bucket would both meet a violent death. No. Just because you added the bucket doesn't mean that I care anymore. Or less. Huh? You're gonna the say The door it. behind them was not shut. I know. Stanley and the bucket still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Uh. At this point, Stanley and the bucket were knowingly walking forward to death. into a very painful death for each of them. No, I'm gonna get out. I'm a good boy. Now that that lovely woman's gonna speak to us both, and then the bucket will actually wake the fuck up and speak. That's the joy I'm on this ride for. Red. Soon will be blue. Into yellow, into green, into her hurty knees. Ah, oh, you fucking bright! It's coming. There's joy on the other side of this. Because it'll all be over. As the machine He'll shut up motion, soon. Stanley and the bucket inch closer to their demise. Stanley reflected on how meaningless the bucket's warmth and comfort had turned out to be. Rude. To be sure, it puts the mind and the soul at ease to embrace the bucket. But what use is a sense of ease when you're about to be crushed to death? True. This is what Stanley thought to himself. And he sort of kicked himself for wasting so much time carrying a bucket everywhere. You wrote this. Farewell, Stanley. Fuck you, Kevin. You're the freak. Oh, it did happen Farewell, again. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley and the bucket were led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. Huh. In a single visceral instant, the bucket's life came to an end uh, as it was crushed violently to and, death. And me, right? <laughs> or do I live? Miraculously. Where's the number two? It was a shame. The death of such a magnificent bucket. It's true that all buckets are radiant in their own way. How is that? But this one stood above the rest. It was a glorious bucket to behold. Oh, look out. It's gone. The bucket is gone. The bucket welcomes you to the grand exhibit. Standing at the precipice of knowledge, much like a bucket itself, the human mind is frequently empty with... How dare you? But through the use of the exhibit in front of you, you can... Bloody, bloody, bloody blah... Some more words I can't be asked. Why is there a chair? May I stand on it? No, but I can bow. What? Is that a... 
Got a collage of buckets. Wait a moment. Can you see how arrogant it was for Stanley to take a bucket like this and to claim it for his own? What? Can you see the hubris that blinded him? Can you see that the bucket is far more noble than Stanley will ever be in his short life? Rude! What is the matter with you? It's a bucket. It doesn't have feelings. It's not. It's not alive. It was never alive. Twenty foot. Twenty. Is there, a, is there a numbered zero on the floor? Is there... 20... 25? What? All right. Sure. 25. Of course. Another chair. Facing the wrong way. A bucket with two handles. I... There's no way it's never been made. Also, why is that typography flipped? And why can't I speak anymore? Sorry, it's the majesty of the fucking bucket blinding me. It's tying my tongue into knots. Inferno? Bucket? Wh I, if it got anywhere near an inferno, it would be a fucking ashtray! I'm done. I'm getting out of this exhibit. I... No! Cavemen didn't make metal buckets. That's not. Uh. Sorry, is there a goat? There's goats playing with the fucking bucket. Of course there is. No. No man can own a bucket, and certainly not a bucket as dazzling to behold as this one. It is man who should kneel before the bucket. Piss off. Oh, you did. Good. The hanging but There's no way I'm not killing myself. There's several ways that I won't be killing myself. What? Ah! I think I did it. But there is something we can do. Kill something Stanley. Something we can do together, you and I, that will right this terrible wrong. Oh, yeah? Oh, it is. Murder me. Stanley died. Thank Let you! Him be crushed by the machine. I should have Don't been. Reset the game. Okay. Don't give him another opportunity to run off with another beautiful bucket. I will. We can save the world's buckets from their treatment as tools and implements. Of course. If only we let Stanley die together. The bucket mm -hmm. shall take its place as ruler, as leader, as commander I... of a new world. A what? New a leap! I'm dead. What? There was a... Why did you put that subtitle was... speaking to me? Stanley had never seen the office this brightly lit. Was it a sign of something? He hoped it was. What? He hoped very much that it was. No, 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 no. You want me to... You want me to... What? There are no light switches in this office. Wait, I have been here for 276 lives. Why have I only now noticed there are no light switches in an office with lights? Excuse me. Skip. I... Mm. Mm. Ah. All right. All right. Fuck you. No. Bucket. Bucket isn't leading me. When Stanley Bucket isn't the leading shit! Door, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly yeah, well. Yeah, I did. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Maybe. Maybe I do. And here it was. The lounge. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. You don't know me at all. <sighs> Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. I will shove my shit through the letterbox that is your eyelids. Shut up! <laughs> Stanley had now gotten himself so far off the beaten path... Wait a minute, you're here. ...that it seemed the office had begun so far off the beaten path 
that it seemed the office had begun just so far off the beaten path. What that the... it seemed the office had begun just so far off the beaten path. What that the... it seemed the office had begun just so far off the beaten path. That it seemed the office had begun just so far off the beaten path. What are you? That it seemed the office had begun just so far off the beaten path. Kevin. Kevin. You didn't think I was actually just a recording, did you? What a silly and trite explanation that would be. Shut up! All the back and forth between you and me, all the absurd adventures we've been through, and it all turns out I'm just a tape recording? Oh, yeah. It was all just in Stanley's head. That's pretty stupid. I bet that's the kind of twist you think is revelatory. No! I bet each and every time you watch a movie where it turns out all to be in the main character's imagination, you must absolutely bolt off the couch in pure shock at the phenomenal and intricate story. Storytelling. It must be so simple to be you. One of these life being an unending waterfall of surprises and one of the delights. buttons will turn you off, How right? How much more exciting you must find the world than the rest of us do. Oh. <sighs> now I've become sad. Look what you've done to me. This is all your fault. Eat a dick. I. You're taking the piss. Okay. All right. A soft wind blew outside and perhaps rain started. And if it did, it stopped shortly after. Oh, well, never mind. Stanley hoped that he would one day see weather. <laughs> you fucking broke me, you prick. Ah, the embrace of an old friend. A traitor! A weathered companionship that stands the test of time. Doesn't stand the test of a good pressing, though, does it? Stanley Speaking of pressing, I have a pressing matter with the boss. And entered the door on his left. I'm leaving. All the way. I'll find the last one. I swear. Are you in here? Bitch. Wait, no, nothing to say? Stanley, we Better. must move on from this broom closet. Simply Already did, dickhead. No Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe the elevator will hold something. Now I have five out of the six collectibles. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication Shut up! of any human life. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. No, I did. Was it that the bucket knew? Oh, you didn't tell me I was in a rut. It's nice of you to not hold me up. This is like a strangle wanking bastard. And that's an out for my ankles, you fucking foot fetishist. Wait a holy hot damn moment. Holy fucking shit. Sleek geek with 50 fucking dollars. Stop! Howdy, hope you're having a great day. Thanks for all the laughs. Stop that. Thank you so fucking much. And uh, Sledge plays with a five. Do you ever lay in bed, look up at the stars and wonder what, where the fuck is my ceiling? I, I feel like that was, it's almost a part of what I'm... Uh, divided with it. Here's some buckets to bay buckets with. <gasps> Scary with the two. I know this isn't much, but here you go. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Nori with the five. Got to love the pure surreal of coming in. Watching Brett press the number three. Have a bucket in his hand and me being confused. Thank you so much, Nori. be good to see you. And the amazing meep decided to subscribe. Why? All right. I'm here. Thank you so much, all of you. Holy shit, appreciate Stanley you. and the bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Yes, sir. Yes, I did. <laughs> the hey, lights yeah. rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Of buckets? What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the bucket both wondered to buckets. themselves. It's bu it's buckets, right? It's, it's all going to be... Come on, surely. You can't not have every screen show a bucket now. The monitor what? Jumped to life you lack imagination! In shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The if you had balls, had just one of these would like be a sex tape. Very nearly burst into not detailed. As Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it Tasteful that everything one. would be fine. 
Uh. Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? How? Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to Doesn't do? Doesn't have a mind! What kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? I... These questions what? raised furiously in Stanley's feeble. Well, I imagine if a bucket had feelings it wouldn't want to be used to catch your fucking leaky ceiling! Oh, why am I talking to you? No! Oh. He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! Oh. He squeezed the bucket tighter. I won't. His one friend in the entire world. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. That's a lie. It's a lie and you know it. I've already been told it's going to rule us all one day for some reason. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labelled with emotions. We're going in here. Or sad. Or going content. To... Oh, this is not order. Eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Damn it. Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. Nope. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. You're wrong. Two best friends, Stanley and the bucket, up against the world. No. Nope. They high fived in a oh. really cool way. And the bucket made a sassy comment about taking down the system. Oh, that's funny. Only the problem is, uh, I've been told this piece of shit's gonna rule the world one day. Might as well give it the keys to the kingdom. But at the last second, the bucket jumped in and pressed the button to turn on the controls. Stanley gasped in horror. Had this been the bucket's plan all along? To take over the machine and claim the power for itself? How could the bucket have betrayed him like this? Oh, no. Stanley was prepared to throw the bucket away in disgust when suddenly an image appeared upon the enormous screen. Huh? I... Birds. Silly, silly birds. The control buttons became active again. Oh. Oh. Stanley oh. flipped through one video of silly birds after another. Oh. And then it dawned on Penguins! Him. This wasn't a mind control oh. facility at all. Oh. It was a facility for monitoring and surveilling oh. silly birds all over the world. Oh. The mind controls were only oh. a facade to disguise oh. its true intentions. Had the bucket known this all along, this Stanley marveled at the metal genius in his hands. Cute. The one who had pointed him towards this silly, incredible discovery. Silly birds. Stanley and the bucket never found freedom because they spent the rest of their lives <gasps> here in this place. I made the loop! Through live streams of the silliest birds imaginable. Where, where's the penguins? Of all the possible paths his life uh... could take, this one was surely the best. And Stanley was happy. I am. Don't take it away from me. Don't pull the rug out from underneath me. Yeah, you fucking sly the fuck. I was happy. And you ended it! That's it. That's fuck this. I'm going out there doing Someone the bad was one. Following Stanley. He was sure of it. No! If he checked over book his it. shoulder now, he would surely book catch it. Him. it was only a matter book of it. The bucket made Stanley want to be a better man and a better co-worker. In time, perhaps, he would become both of those things. I'm done with you. I'm done. I... I... I can't believe that throughout that entire sequence, where I was happy, me and the bucket... I can't believe at no point did I make a joke that I was flipping birds. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. Nope. And this was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No. Was, no never mind. The bucket was wrong. What if one Stanley of these doors? Stanley the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. There's no more spaces for me to go to. The only no, option for the, the finally Stanley Annerly Manly figurine is that it's going to be yes. down Good, there. The I don't have the lift all the five way to the top. out There's of six. I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how There's no way. Was speaking there isn't a Stanley figurine because down people there. People but Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced oh, like, that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly no did whatever the bucket There's no asked. damn way that now this bucket won't fucking work.
There's no way. Wait a moment. Wait, if the bucket's with me. Huh? No, stop! Damn it! Get! <laughs> Already this was uncomfortable. I know. And Stanley decided that as soon as he found a new space he felt safe in, that he would never leave it again in his life. And that's the bit where I do this and you feel clever. When Stanley came to uh, a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room. And I Stanley need a sprint button. Well. Like you wouldn't Perhaps believe I need a sprint button. Lounge first, it's on its way. It. It's got to spend ten dollars okay. to reset. Did you just say the lounge was okay? I... Motherfucker, this shit is immaculate. It's blue. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. I'll strangle you. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. I miss when the line was down there. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we never figured the out the line. Here. I'm not sure. Why really, I'm not did I not I understand the line? Difficult, uh, but could I get is down there? The story is, is there a safe path for me to go down? There could very well be is a safe path for me to go somebody? down. What? Really? I haven't found it I was yet. In the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Oh. Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Definitely. What? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove oh. it. Oh. Give me a chance. The whiteboard didn't lie! And there it is. The last Stiggly Wiggly. Come on! Remember this moment, Stanley. Stiggly? This is a real accomplishment. Wiggly. This is doing something just for the sake of doing it. It is. Where so many people expect to be rewarded for the most trivial achievements, you've insisted that a job well done is its own reward. Mostly. I would tell you that I'm proud of you for collecting them all. You're not. But that would be like a reward. Okay. And we can't have that. Of course. So... Instead, I'll just say, it's done. Not well done. We're all done here. Mm. And now we can go to whatever the hell you were doing before you hunted for figurines. Nope. No, absolutely not. I'm going to need a purpose now. World's best co-worker. No, I'm going to need a... Uh... I'm really going to need another purpose. I've done all the collectibles. Now listen carefully, this is important. Oh. Stanley walked through the red door. Shut up! There's no... There's, I was expecting the, the Stanleys to be all over here. Like, you know, dotted around. <laughs> you know, that's just, oh, hey, you got them here. Here they are in your office. It's you! Uh... Uh, I don't... I... I was sure... I was... Stanley, I'm sorry, but I have to put a pause on things. It's just... It's those figurines. Oh. Those figlers. I haven't stopped thinking about them since you nabbed every last one. Oh. Wasn't it just the most intrinsically fulfilling moment of your entire life? Mm. Didn't it fill you to the brim with inner richness? A little. Yes, I know we're supposed to be telling a story, uh. but won't you please indulge me with one more trip back to the memory zone? Oh! I would love nothing more than to revisit the figurines. Oh! Just one more time. Well, I mean, if you inst- I mean, the door doesn't open, so I can't tell you to fuck off, so yeah, sure! Let's go to the memory zone! I remember this place! I hadn't forgotten about it entirely! Welcome! Me! To remembering the remembering place! When Stanley found the collector- Oh, I see. What an accurate summation of the simulation I'm inside of! Of course! I'm in the figurine room, like the one on the back of the Roost Crest Fall Island in the Waking Wind. That's... yeah, I'm there now! You don't want me to go down, do you? You wouldn't want that. What happened to that one? I... oh... You're going to punish me, aren't you? Because you know I expected a reward. 
Here's where it all began. Oh, yeah. The first collectible. Yeah, I remember Back that. And we had no idea of how many of them we'd find. Well, sure, we did. Six right there on the screen. Exactly. But how could we know for certain? Because it's not it like you'd so lie. Recent. We'll never be like that again, Stanley. Do you, do you want me to pick this up? I feel like I shouldn't pick this up, Kevin. Um, I shouldn't have picked that up. Well, at least none of you guys are moving. That would be really unsettling. And very cons- Oh, they could be moving and I'd have no way of knowing, so I'm just going to keep going. Oh, I remember this! Yeah, wait. Well, that wasn't there before. I believe there was a car and it might have been mine. I- Ah, oh, well. And here was a second Stanley. But it's also the eighth. Honest, back then I had no faith in you to find any of them. I did. Let alone six. But you but, continue to surprise me in all sorts of mundane, unremarkable ways. Yeah, but... Now I have eight, Kevin. I'm not supposed to find more than there are. And if I am, it's supposed... To reset. Why did you barricade it twice? I... Ah. Uh, well, all right, I mean... Uh, Kevin does. Okay, let's do a little quiz. Oh, Kevin does. Which of these rooms was the room you found your third mini stand? Can you remember? Um. The third. Um. Let's see. I. I mean, there's a number two on it. But I. I don't think that's the answer because. That's not. That's not the one. I mean, I could, maybe, I, I, wear it out going that way, but I think I remember desperately needing to take a wicked piss when I found the third one, but I'm not sure. I'm really scared I'm wrong. I don't know what happens when I'm wrong. Hey, that's exactly right. Oh. It was here in the boss's bathroom. Good. It was the third one. You Good. picked it up, and then after that, you had three of them. Nine. I'm glad these moments are so crystal clear in your memory, but right. I shouldn't be surprised. Oh, well. After all, science tells us that it's impossible to forget your third time doing anything. Oh. Hey. Is it? I can't remember the third time I did anything at all. At least, not specifically. I... Kevin, are you lying to me to prove a point? Kevin... Let's see. What came next? Kevin, did you change the... What do you mean, what came next? This isn't... That, this, this wasn't real. This isn't... This didn't happen. Kevin, oh, this... yes, we found a figly in this pink room. No, we didn't. Oh, well, I can't actually say I remember being in this room. <laughs> yeah. But it's here in the memory zone, so it must have happened. What if... Not everything in the memory zone has already happened. Why is there a giant pink apple in a pink room? Ten figlies now. No doors open. Stairs just lead down. Down into the spiraling madness that is being created by recollecting the collected items. Ah, my boss is off. And then it opened, and then there was a figlerine. Fifth mini stand. Yeah, right and here. This one was really something special. It was it, was it? behind the boss's office. I remember it so clearly. Well, yeah. In fact, because this one is particularly special to me, oh. I made a little video to commemorate the occasion. Oh, really? Enjoy. What does it look like? Oh. Oh. You even kept my collectible cursor on there, because I was too close to the figly. Oh, you clever man. Oh, you've taken me back real memory zone now. It's like I'm in the 2009s. Good on you, Kevin. Well done. I did. Thanks, Kev. Big Kev! Thanks, narrator! Best boy! <sighs> Takes you back, doesn't it? Yeah. I spent a lot of time making that video, but it was eight minutes I wouldn't have spent on anything else. Eight minutes? Don't lie to me. It took you longer than that.
There's still nothing behind here. The horror I feel is insurmountable. Like a skull fort! Kevin! Kevin? What's this? Oh. It's alright. I'm gonna be over here. Looking for... Ah! The... Final... And then, Stanley, then we came to the last collectible. Yeah. The final figurine, right here by the red and blue doors. Yeah. This memory is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Ooh. Perhaps because it was the one that happened more recently than all the others. Well, that's memory. You can truly say how the mind works? All God. I know is that this is the moment where you picked up a figly and I thought to myself, Yes, that's all of them. They're all collected. It was a hmm. moment unlike any other. Huh. Except for the other moments picking up figurines, which it was exactly like. Only mostly. Oh. Huh. Why did the... But I haven't picked up the figly. And it didn't lock me in. Which is surprising. I thought they were going to reprise the role of Tobin Bell with Jigsaw. Saying, so you want to play a game? Or maybe he'd have said, so you want to collect the figly? And then, he probably would have sawed my insides out and made someone else eat them and called it therapy. I don't like that. That's not normal. That's weird. That's my eyes. Those my eyes aren't cameras. If they were, it would be much easier to film vlogs. I... Hello? Why? I don't want to stand in the circle. <gasps> Is it the jump circle? Nope. No, it's not. And then there was no more. Because we've caught up to the present moment. Nothing left to do but move onward into the future. Where's that? By memory zone. Wait. Um... Um, no, 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 I'm not done. I'm not ready to move on. Kevin. Stop the loading screen. No. Isn't there some way we can stay here, keep uh, enjoying these figurines? Kevin. Just go backwards. What? We'll do the memory zone again from the opposite direction. See Kevin. how that feels. Kevin, this is not... You can't break the rules. You can't break the... I'm going through the opposite door that I went through. How about that? How about I fall... No, it's not super liminal. I can't fall okay, through. Yes. The room with the red and blue doors. I no. This. No. I must say, of all the oh. figurines we looked oh. at in our initial okay. tour of the memory zone, all this right. one is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Oh, yeah. Let's keep going. I want more. I'm sure you do. If you spend your entire life in the past, what future can you possibly hope to have? Oh God! And here's where I made oh, that it's video. It's getting Don't worse. The video Don't anymore. play the video. No! <laughs> yes, I <sighs> love that video. Thank you. Oh, I'm glad we saw it again. Kevin, could you make another for the next time? Kevin. Kevin, there's a hole in the floor. Kevin, I didn't fall through it. Kevin? Oh, no. Still don't remember the pink room, Stanley. Yep, same. No memory of this one. Not one. A room, though. A solid room. I mean, it's not entirely solid. There was a hole into the abyss over there. But, you know, how it is. It's fine. Because now we're going to the easy-weezy lemon-squeezy <laughs> one. You know, if there had been any kind of reward for finding all of these, figlies. it really would have neutered the intrinsic joy of collecting them. Right. I'm very glad we resisted the temptation. Next one. Next one. Kevin. Kevin, I never went to the warehouse, Kevin. Kevin, have you ever stopped to consider that I never went to the warehouse, and that's why we're reliving this? You never let me go get the other one. Kevin? <laughs> Kevin, there's a perfectly good figly in that abyss. I... Kev... Okay, well, I mean, you're the m owner of the memory zone. Not like me to say you're wrong. Don't you remember? Mm. Yes, I remember it too. You forgot about the other. The past is truly a wonderful thing. Uh -huh. Why does anyone ever choose to leave it? Well, going? We, we don't have much control over time until we end up in this fucking hellscape. This is it. 
the very first one we found in the exhibit where I introduced you to the figlerines. Yeah. Oh. oh, I want more memories, Stanley. I want to keep going. What else is there? What came before this? Oh, I was scared you were going to take me before I could collect it. I got very panicked. You know just reliving the same memory over and over again isn't creating a new one, right? I can't quite remember being here. I don't remember doing this. And I'm unsure if I'm remembering correctly. This is the jump circle, Kevin. Do I get them back? Look, it's the terrible new content that we were originally sold on. I remember hating it back then. But time does put a rosy filter on everything. No, it doesn't. In fact, I dare say I'm actually quite fond of it now. Oh, really? Look how much fun the past is. I want more. More memories. Really? Well, how about you? I don't know, just an idea. Reset the jump counter. I can fucking jump again! Sounds good to me. But, you know, I'm not the boss here. I'll just be going backwards forever. There's a filter over my eyes, Kevin. Kevin. Oh, yes. The two doors. Who could have forgotten I'm that? going mad. Classic memory, this one. Memory? This is my waking nightmare. Kevin, that is not the way those doors went. Kevin! That isn't the way! I... It's never been this way, Kevin. This isn't a memory, this is a fabrication. Y you you're a nana knitting by the fire. You are- you are knitting a lie! I can't wear a lie, Kevin! And lies aren't welcome! And before everything else, there was your office. Yep. Is there anything else? Was there something that came before your office? The intro. There's something I feel I can remember. I can remember. I can remember. Maybe the... Oh. It's the... Yes, I'm remembering something It's now. the intro. I remember before this whole story got started. Back then, I was... I was different. Oh, really? I used to make big decisions. I was passionate. I was skeptical. Oh, really? I weighed each decision with profound thoughtfulness. Oh, yeah? And then somewhere along the way, I stopped making decisions. Yeah, and then I took over. I became lazy. And I came up with, well, a sequel. came up with a character named Stanley to do my thinking for me. Wait. He would make the decisions, he would decide which way to go. Going all the way back? I would cheer him on as he collected figurines for no reason. Well, no, we've gone forward. Why did I invent Stanley? Was I lonely? You were projecting? Yes, perhaps that's it. Perhaps I needed to imagine I had companions. You projected the whole time. And Stanley really did make for a wonderful companion. That's Psychology Not 101. Was a fiction. I... But uh, I suppose it's grown old. I... I want to think for myself again. Don't delete me. I want to go back to how it used to be. Don't do it. Yes. I can be on my own again. Don't. I can do it. I'll be stronger this time. I'll take care of myself. I don't need Stanley anymore. Oh, uh -huh. but he truly was so much fun to play with. Don't quote that. You know what? Since we're in the memory zone, how about one more good memory? There were good ones? Let's go back just once and give Stanley one more run of the office oh, okay. and then... I'll retire him for good. No! I did enjoy telling his story so very much. Okay, here we go. Kevin. This is the story of a man named Stanley. I... I'm still here. You're speaking to me. Oh. That means I'm still here. You can't past tense a present man. I can't wait to tell this story to my co-workers, Stanley What? Ford. How amusing they'll find it. Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing? Oh. That's gonna be around this corner? Ah, uh -oh, no. No, they're not. Hello. Hi. Hey. Okay. I guess I'll, uh... Not everyone is so lucky to have a bucket. Take the bucket with me. Is a very lucky fellow. Wouldn't want to go into indeed. the cold embrace of being forgotten and dead Stanley alone. The bucket tightly to his chest. Oh boy. And entered the door on his left. Uh huh. Oh boy. Well. Still, no one was here. Oh yeah, no. Stanley needed the figurines. Comfort now more than ever. 
Hello? Stanley, we must yeah, okay. Move on from this I just broom wanted to make sure you didn't want to end me in the in the broom closet. The like Cluedo, only with you just turning my life off like a fucking bulb. Stepping into his manager's office, uh -huh. Stanley was once again stunned Two. to discover Eight. not an indication Four. of any Five. life. Not six. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Uh -huh. Was it that the bucket knew all along? I don't was think the, the bucket, bucket knows what's coming. The bucket doesn't have ears to hear your intentions of ending us, deleting us for no reason at all. It's fine. It's fine, you know. Just keep on going beyond my way. Go down into the almost infinite abyss. But then it will go through the loading screen, and I won't have to wait for it. The electrics will crap out, even though the elevator will still work Stand if I use it, and it'll fix the light. But don't worry, because I'm the one with the brightest facility. spark. It's the idea for the final life of mine to end with freedom. No one's entirely sure if it will actually be freedom. With television no one's sure! What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the Bucket both wondered to themselves. Mm. Fine. I know the secrets. The secrets is uh, silly birds. It's really a happy ending, but apparently I want to free myself from that. The monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Uh. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, uh. monitored Even in the bathrooms. Pigs. The bucket was in a had separate never seen feed. anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. <sighs> Stanley, I don't know if I'm you. The bucket I need to speak to you. Facilities I'm really not well. sure. Had the bucket been told to do hey. things it didn't wish to do, it's fine. What kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. Come on. No! Up we go! Into the bucket. Mind control facility! Let's not fucking pretend Never. like I've not been under its spell the, the entire together. time! His one friend in the entire world. At this point, I could jump he could trust no right one now. Except for the bucket. Open. Open says me. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. I don't think I felt any of working, those. Eating, working, it was just a consistent it pit of emptiness the entire place. time. You and loathsome bastard. Began to sink in. You Stanley preposterous, pompous, pontificating pillock. I'm turning it all off! Stanley and the bucket waited in blackness. We did. Was it over? I hope. Um. Yes. Ah. They had done it. Good. Stanley and the bucket no had tricks. defeated their greatest and darkest enemy. Themselves? Freed themselves from the tyrannical grip of the evil mind control machine. Oh, of course. Freedom was now mere moments away. Was it? Excitedly, oh, hello, Bucket. Two of them began I can see you now. The kind of life they wanted to live. Once they stepped through this massive uh, a door, full filling one. <laughs> Stanley wanted to sneeze in every uh, country on Earth. Uh, Both of them wanted to begin watching a movie, any movie, uh, but then stop it halfway through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. Wait a minute, you're self-aware. True, it was a simple life they envisioned, but it was one they'd live together. Sure. With one another to lean on, to trust, to support, and to... no. What? Wait. What was happening? Why had the door stopped? Was Stanley and the Bucket not about to be freed? Oh. An unbearable silence filled the room, oh. lingering in uncertainty. Oh no. Until finally the truth hit Stanley square in the face. This building did not want the Bucket to leave. Throw it! What that, that Even the throw it! Itself, throw it quick! The incredible calming presence oh. of the Bucket needed the soothing warmth. It's gonna stay in the light. Go to any lengths not to part with the bucket. No, no, no. Stanley uh, can't leave this uh, place. Not while he has such a precious bucket in his arms. How do I know? I can't not see it. Not while this building has anything to say about it. Stanley realized he would never again leave this very room. Oh, good. But at least, at least he has the bucket. To be trapped well, eternally in darkness isn't really so bad. That's death Stanley before death. Himself, as long as I have my bucket with me, right? I'll be okay, won't I? No. Stanley gulped. Very soon now, he was about to find out. Oh. Oh. 
What? What? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I just come here. It takes a lot of humility just to carry a bucket so magnificent. Stanley checked his ego and then mm. proceeded onward. No. I don't want to do it anymore. This is me. I'm done. Fuck dog mode. There's not a hyphen there. I'm done. I'm absolutely done. No. I'd close it if I could. And I can't. Damn it! My office closed! I... I... The only way... That this bucket can get out... Is without me. And the only way that I can get out... Is without it! Both of you can fuck off. What? No, I read that. Epilogue? Many years later? I was under the impression time was standing still like me when I didn't care. What do you mean, many years? Oh. This ending was canon, was it? Well, I hadn't expected that. Alright. Don't really know who's playing music in this, uh, vapid, arid desert, but who the hell am I to complain? I don't see the bucket with me, which is incredibly sad now I think about it. Uh! Oh! Got my chair, though. That's good. I set myself on... No, I can't set myself on fire. I got some more firewood for the fire. I'm really beginning to question where the holy hand grenade I got that from, considering the... Exquisite lack of any tree. Doesn't matter. Toward the moon I go. Anything in the sky is a direction if I... Desperately wish for death enough. Look at me. I've summoned the very end of the world I have. Mad Max. Fuck that. How about serious Stanley? All I gotta do is make it through this. Same as the weird... Desert in Final Fantasy 7, where I went left to right, up and down, in several directions over and over to finally get free. Eventually it made sense, and the moon has grown. Maybe this is why there's no water anywhere. The moon has gotten too close, and the gravitational pull sucked it off of the planet, and all the wet is now galaxy side. Oh, I sure hope I'm. Choosing the right direction in which to ru run. Ah, of course. The memory zone archway. And a... A... A room? Maybe. I'm not sure. I... What? I... Wait a moment. Why do I want the memory zone? Whatever that is, has got to be better than reliving the past. Already established that! Fucking freak, Kevin! I don't know where you are! I don't know if you're even in there! I don't even know if there's a you, or a there. I could actually just be a fucking shack that looks similar. I have no idea what this is, but I'd rather take it any damn day. It's the... It's the escape pod. He made it out. We made it. I was wrong. We made it out! All right. All right. I guess I will go into that. And maybe I will find Kevin. And he'll be happy to see me. Also, it's Kevin. I was insistent about that for so long I've fallen into the trap. It's an A, not an I. Kevin! Anyway. Bucket with me. Me with the bucket. Memory zone. Can't spell memory without me. And you can't spell bucket without two-thirds of cum. I just got a... Oh, I didn't like that. Open? Oh, of course not. Who's to say what doors work and don't anymore? I sure hope that weird otherworldly room of mannequins grabbing at my Stanley Reens are gone. 
I hope that's not there. I have no concept of what's a part of the gag anymore. Is Kevin going to turn up and read the script aloud and say, ha ha, got you? <gasps> it's a review! Like so many. I enjoyed my time with the original Stanley Pub, which underscores how truly disappointed I am with its sequel. Where the first game teamed with original, the Stanley Parable 2 is dull and inspired another, often insulting to its fan base, rather than expand on what made it. It veers off infinitely whole endings, bits, parable, events line. Instead, we get side quest figurines, must say. I found the bucket to be quite comforting. Fuck you, Cookie I Nine. Cookie Nine! There was no I, but there is an I in pie. <laughs> Stanley Parable developers. No more spin offs and no more sequels. Oh, that'll be sad. Oh, it's the name button. Oh, this one works. Jim. Oh. Jim. Oh, they never got to fixing this, huh? Jim. It, it's just. Jim. Surely one of them over there ended up getting out of beta. Surely one of these products made it out of early access. Jim. Oh, that's Cube World. Jim. Oh, that's DayZ. Jim. I can't think of another one. It's fine. Any moment, I will be free, or Jim, Jim, Jim. One of them won't fucking say Jim. Jim. Halo Infinite. Stanley. Ah! Stanley. I hope none of the rest say Jim. That would really ruin it. Jim, Jim. Oh well, never mind. Because I've still got Stanley. He fixed it. What the hell's that? What is that? What the fuck is that? Who is that? Why, who is, what is, what? Okie dokie. Not a single clue what that's about. What is this? It's my Stanley Reens, and I'm not seeing 18 of them. So why is that a thing, huh? Oh my fucking word! 25! I don't want to go down the Stanley hole. I don't want to go down the fi- I nearly missed one. Good lord! How silly of me! I need to follow this. I need to see the final review. Lord help me if I have options here. Oh, oh I'm a fucking moron. Oh, it all leads- I- well, I've gone in a circle. I'm a fool. The last button I press will not be my name. I don't deserve it. Oh, well. Quite literally, potentially. W oh, no, it's the infinite hole! Infinite hole with maybe infinite Stanleys. I've already got 25 of the bastards. You never know, there might be a... Another? Am I back? Am I back? Am I back? Thank you for enjoying the new content. What do you mean? This was all part of the content? There's no way this was part of the content. You couldn't have scripted this. That is insane. Is this my computer? It's my computer. I don't know why they moved it. Oh, hi! Have you got any sliders? It's that you can see me. Terrible to learn that there will never be another Stanley Parable game. Did you read what the developers said? Preserve the integrity of the franchise. What nonsense. The Stanley Parable is not sacred. Don't need to protect it. I don't know about that. It's kind of steady on now. Screw the legacy. Let's keep making, of course, till the sun explodes. Well, I mean, you know, we might not be alive by then. And what with the microplastics, I'm going to be a Barbie doll in a few years. Let's run this franchise into the ground. And if people hate it, who cares? Are you Activision? The Raiders' problem. So obsessed with what people thought. Don't make his mistake. Don't cling to the legacy. Let it burn. It's not hard. Let me show you how. He didn't say how. I did. We're together. We're going to make the Stanley Parable 3. Simple. Just change the number in the game's title screen. Oh, so need a really dumb subtitle for the game. Loud and gaudy. The Stanleying. Try combining some random words together. Uh, um, employee of the co-worker. Oh, what about Legend of the Hole Punch? Oh, it's Forgotten Snake. 
No, it's clearly got to be part five fight. It's absurd. Love it. Good. I do too. That's why I picked it. Every time you restart the game, we'll advance the number of the sequel by one. Then we'll pick a new subtitle. That way, the Stanley Parable will never end. Everything's dead, you know. And nothing in the game itself will change when you do this either. Having more content sounds like work. No need to do that. It's just the same content recycled again and hmm. What do you say? Go forward. There's no backward. Let's... Let's do it. New sequel every time. And you know what? You're gonna give me something. Noticing the narrator never found a way to give you the broken achievement, did he? <gasps> Wouldn't expect him to know how. He's been bothering you. Fix it. Achievement machine. <gasps> I'm on your side. We're gonna keep this train rolling. Oh, but I don't have the train asset anymore. It broke. Yep. What, what do we need to do? Enter the... Oh. I'll have you know I've gone very late. I've gone later than I intended. I've definitely angered my significant other because I said I'd be done by now. But that's the time. Oh, the slider. Oh, thank you. You. Oh, oh lovely. What? You said it wouldn't change. That's different. There's a red muscle car. And everybody knows that red is the best color for muscle. There's no one driving it. This is the story nope. of... Every time I restart the game, huh? I... Oh. Do I, need to, do I need to go back? Is that what I need to do? All of his co-workers were gone. What could I'm going be? back. Hey. You just close the game, don't I? Of course I do. That's the solution. Kill the game. To breathe life into the game. Over and over again. And gain rhymes with game. Okay. All right, pretty soon, I'm going to be seeing crows. That's what I'm going to be seeing. Ask me the time. <gasps> Stanley Parable 4. Beyond Octopus. <laughs> it's like a Death Stranding game. <gasps> oh, it's my wife! I think. Not sure. My jaw has seen better days. I don't know what's got more pause. The unemployment line on my cheek. I didn't like that. Nothing. Nothing! Back to nothing you go. Get out of here. It never ends. All right. Doesn't end until I allow it to end! And... And by fuck, I'm going to go all the way up to Stanley Parable 97. Stanley Parable 5. Um... Uh... Um... Atomic Telephone. <laughs> oh! 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 Oh, I don't like that! Oh, nope! I'm not even launching that one. You can fuck off. I didn't like spinning, Stanley. I didn't expect Stanley to be on the Lazy Susan. Why? Why? Would they put Stanley on the Lazy Susan? It's fine. Parable 6... Um, um, dealing with the stapler. Oh, the, oh, oh, Stanley, is that you? What did they do to you, fella? 
I can't tell if those are your lips or... Th no, that's it. I just can't tell that. Well, Stanley. I'll be leaving now. Nice see you. No, it's not. Okay. Well, it can't get much worse than that. It can't. There's no way it ever would. Stanley Parable 7. Um. Part 5, Poison. Thank you. Yes. No. Stanley Parable 7. Avoid the human condition. Oh! Who is that? Who's that speaking to me? Who are you? Whose reports? My reports? What are you? No? Okay. Well, I'm going to leave now. This is a nightmare. It can't get worse. We've got big, ugly Stanley. Like he's been punched. Stanley Parable 8. <laughs> Stanley's big paperwork. <laughs> oh! What? Why is this Doom or Duke Nukem music? Alright. No, I've. This one's gotta be something. Alright! Oh, no. Hold on. Oh! What's this? Why are you here? You're not supposed to be here. This is supposed to be my time. Eight. Oh! Huh. Eight. Oh, is that it? Eight. Why are there five eights? Eight. The Stanley <laughs> Parable Eight? Yes. No, 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 no. This doesn't look right at all. Eight. The Stanley Parable takes place in an office building. Nope. There are doors and eight. branching paths. Nope. This is just a button that says eight. eight. <laughs> Where did the Stanley Parable go? Excuse me, Stanley Parable. Eight. You goose. What's the matter with you? All right, why am I here? Why? Why am I? Why have I done this? Eight. 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 Uh-huh. <laughs> Stanley went home and ate his food. <laughs> Eight. <sighs> Do I go at the door? <laughs> Eight. Eight. Um... Eight. I heard the door. Eight. I heard that door. The the, the door. Oh, oh, it didn't. <laughs> Eight. Stanley got home, and his wife told him he was l Eight. <laughs> Eight. Uh, in the story of the Stanley Parable, it turns out the bucket was b eight. <laughs> eight. Well, I'm looking around ah! and I really can't find the game anywhere. No boss's office or mind control facility no. or any of that. Literally just this eight button. Eight. And what's worse is that you seem to be having a better time with this nonsense game than with the story I wrote for you. <laughs> I'm actually a little insulted. Eight. Uh, anyone that was watching this content online, if this weren't all a figment of my imagination, would be gr- Eight. Eight. It's- Um. Um. I guess- me pressing this button of eight is going to be my f eight. <laughs> eight. Uh, 
Eight. Why is the inside brighter than the outside? Eight. Uh, Eight. 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 Stanley met his wife by taking her out on a d- Eight. If I were trying to make something better than this, I would cre- Eight. 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 I don't know what happened to the Stanley Parable or what the eight button is, but apparently you're having a riveting time with it. I'm trying. And frankly, I don't even want to pander to someone who finds this enjoyable. Don't leave. So with that, I guess just go ahead and enjoy the Stanley Parable eight. Eight. Don't leave. Don't leave. The joke ran dry a while ago. This is a coping mechanism. If I press the button enough, will you come back? Eight. 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 Holy shit. Eight. Eight. Please. Eight. Eight. Come on. Eight. Please. Eight. Kevin. Eight. Kevin. Eight. Eight. Kevin with an A. Eight. Eight. An E. Eight. And a V. Eight. And a K. Eight. And an N. Eight. Is the door open? Kevin. Kevin. Oh, Kevin, please come back and be my m- Eight. Uh, 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 Eight. Uh, one of the most popular fighters in the UFC is N- Eight. Diaz. Ha ha ha. Eight. Come on. Eight. Please. Eight. Don't. I uh, guess if you were trying to ship my disappointment in mass quantity, you'd pack it into cr- Eight. <laughs> Eight. Please. Eight. Please. Eight. Please. Eight. Please. Hey, Kevin, why are you- l- Eight. Uh, Eight. <laughs> oh. 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 What the fuck? A wallet, a game controller that has never been real. There's a calculator on it. And it's got duct tape and a little shark with a pencil on it. Hello? How long have I been able to do this? Why is there a little thing? Why is there a little little thing underneath the A in there? Eight. Eight. Kevin. Eight. Kevin. Eight. 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 Is this it? Eight. Is this... Eight. Am I... Eight. Is this it? Eight. I... Mm -hmm. is about all I can fucking put up with with that. I went fucking nearly four hours tonight trying to get as much as I could. And I'm done. It's been a week of it. I've loved it. I really have. I like you playing Link with the two, so you're having a great time with this. Oh yeah. So yeah. Now I've uh, now I've got that. Now now that's that's something I can make a video of once I've done with Super Liminal. That'll be fun. That was something. I loved it. I did. Entirely. Entirely. I don't know what I'm doing after this in terms of the series content. But tomorrow, it will be for Isaac. Because that's what I do on Fridays. Isaac on Fridays. And it's for Isaac. You can check out the Tear Show channel. There's a video every three days, apparently. You go check that out. Give it a look. There's new content every three days. <gasps> Pretty latex room with the $5. Bingus! Thank you very much. Oh, it's Silas again with the 10. What's my total boss? What? I... I'm afraid I... Oh, it's 20. What the fuck? I don't know math. Thank you so bastardly much. What's my total boss? About 40 of the one that popped up there. Oh, right, so, yeah, I don't know what I'm, I'll be doing when I'm not doing the Isaac. I will find something. You don't need to recommend it in the nicest way. Uh, well, I mean, in a couple of weeks, it's going to be the fucking, um, 
Come on, brain. Come on, brain. Um, the Sonic game. So we've got that. So I appreciate you so much for watching this shit. I'm very grateful. I really am. If you haven't liked the video, feel the fuck free. But hey, people have done more than enough at this point. Like, more than enough today. Today has been absolutely insane. So thank you. So And yes, Sonic Frontiers. Uh, it's been insane. I didn't expect today. I, everything has just... Yeah, I'm very grateful for you being here and watching this shite. I hope you enjoyed it. I really do. I might do Vampire Survivors at some point just to show you it in case you haven't been uh, present for it. And the bitrate will accommodate it where it doesn't look like shit. So, yeah. Uh, thank you, Recifer with the five. Just something to end for the stream. Thank you so much. I appreciate you so, so, so much. I enjoyed this game. It's, yeah, the super liminal and this top ten of my games that I've ever played. I love it. So, I love you and leave you and see you when you want to see me. Thank you so much for being here. It does mean a bloody lot. Some really trippy shit has been added. Cool. Uh, so yeah, tomorrow, for Isaac, alright? I'll be here, I'll be doing stuff. I'll probably lose my voice a hell of a lot sooner. <laughs> but yeah, I had a bunch of fun with this. I can't wait to make it into a video. I'm gonna try and get the superliminal thing done. I am. So, see me when you want to see me. <clears throat> uh, stream four times a week on this, five times a week. On, well, I say I. There's five streams a week on that. Maybe I'm not always on them. So, thank you so much. My life is a mystery as to why anything goes the way it does. You're way too nice and I love you. Have the fun, look after yourself, and stop wasting money on me. Please. Please stop. Please.